it. I'm highly offended that you're wishing me happy anything. <laughs> I should, I, just leave me alone. Dark moment. matter says. I'll move some of this shit around. I got this great picture of my kid with Santa and it was taken at the exact right second and I've been sending it out to everyone with the title The War on Christmas under it <laughs> and my kid is sitting on Santa's lap. Santa's got this big smile and my kid has just got this disgusted look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Oh, nice, oh, nice, nice. Before we get kicked off here, um, we... Uh, <clears throat> We've been talking about making Dark Matter. Dark Matter doesn't have a name tag. And so I will leave it up to the chat. I made two. Which one do you guys like better? Do you like this one? Okay, that, that's... Say A if you like that one. Or or we have another... Don't start sighing with me. We have another. There we go. You, you decide. I like Don't Matter. The don't matter 52 okay maybe cinderella uh, man you can only vote once pretty even but it is pretty even if i had to <laughs> choose which one i would be subjected to i guess it would be the first one since the second one is very misleading and you know people might they'll they'll hear they'll hear my biting wit Wait, and so charm. you're saying the, the other one isn't misleading that you are <laughs> that's what he said that is what yeah. he said okay fine well, like a well, wins know, people hear my my charisma my sheer charisma and they want to do a search who is this guy he's awesome and they'll type in don't matter 5252 they won't get me they how about how about me. we just leave it and be make it a surprise every time we start the show we'll pick a different yeah, maybe. one we'll switch it up what do you what do you want today tj uh, don't matter since he doesn't like that one. Okay. Ha! Ah, reverse psychology. I love that one. Well, you know, we that, that could. Was, I think it, I think that is indeed. You know what? I think that's probably the way it's going to go today. It's going to be one of those days where he gets them both. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, we still have our patron only show and one more show left in the year. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but we do one show a week. Uh, so when we get to like show number 50 which is awesome but basically when we get to 52 that means we've been doing it for a year uh so we're getting pretty close to that we're pretty happy with the the way things have gone we hope you guys are happy with it too um but if you're a patron check your messages because we already have sent out i will send out a reminder when our last patron only show of the month is we did uh, so we're going to end up doing seven shows this month that's a lot of freaking work, man. A lot of entertainment. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys are aware of the type of That's... preparation and shit it takes. Not to mention sitting here and getting drunk and, and doing everything else that goes along with it. I told you, man. We're killing our livers for this. <laughs> Just for you guys. Um, it I, I, it well, does take cool. a lot of work. By the time they bring me into it, they've already been Dutch ruddering for like an hour. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, on that, on that note, I, I was going to introduce this new fun game. I, I was sent this book. I believe it was by um, Peachy. I want to say it was I, Peachy. I have that, by the way. I oh, you do? Book. So yeah. <laughs> find something to call Dark Matter for the rest of the show today. And, and basically, you just flip it open to random. It's, it combines two words to, to make creative cursing. So here we go. We're going to do... Ooh, I like it. Sissy lips. Sissy lips? All right, That's sissy terrible. lips. I have... The, not only do I have that one, but I also have the redneck version. Oh, Jesus. Uh, they they have... Oh, look. They, we can, <laughs> There's a... There's... Oh. Cockwaffle. A cockwaffle. Yeah, cockwaffle. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I love, I absolutely love this book, but uh, yeah, so Sissy Lips, what do you think about that? Sissy Lips. Is that, uh, we, should we make him like a name tag? You talking about, is this for Dark Matter, right? Yeah. To make my lips tag? are actually one of my good features. They're very sensual. They're very sissy. Very sissy. No. And uh, Drew, I guess you can be... Slutwad. <laughs> Slutwad. <laughs> Dude, that is like a like a fuck off band name generator, isn't it? I'm telling you, man. <laughs> we're the cockwaffles, and we're the we're the fucking what was it, slutwads? Uh, the headliners, sissy lips, <laughs> sissy lips. Oh, it's uh, great. Let's see. Uh, I like to give something away, so I guess I should do that. Um, how about? Mm, 
I have here a book. I can show you this book because you can't tell what the fuck it is just by showing you it. But Looks you're like going to tell me what year it was published, and you're going to win it. This is like TJ's high school yearbook or some shit, isn't it? No. Oh, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> Nobody? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, 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 Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man with 1990, or I'm sorry, 83. That's what he said, right? Yeah. 1983. I was going to guess 82. Well, it's uh, you, you, Dark Matter, if you'd guessed correctly, would have gotten this. It's actually got some really cool art and shit in it. Looks like a yearbook. It, it is not. It is a <laughs> fantasy book. The, the realms of fantasy. Cool. And, uh, like, chapter one is Middle Earth. Number two is Lost Worlds. Uh, Gorgman Gas, Mars, uh, Hyboria, Atlantis, Melnibone, Earthsea, the land of Thomas Covenant, Earth with a U. Uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're into uh, weird fantasy shit t- that was written about in 1980 fucking three, you're going to be thrilled with your awesome <laughs> and w- w- I said random prizes. Did I not mean random fucking prizes? Dark Matter, 1983, isn't that when you became like a, a dungeon master? <laughs> I was seven in 1983. And he, was, he had hair. Oh god, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine yeah. seven year old Dark Matter... The fucking mop that kid had on his head in the early 80s. Oh, fuck. It was. It was out of control. And now it's migrated. <laughs> to my ass. Yep. <laughs> Went south. Uh, I think that... Do we have a lot of fun stuff? Because, I mean, we can just we sit got, here. We got quite a bit. I, did, I didn't even <clears throat> add all of the fun stuff to the... To the thing i don't know how much we're gonna get to but we have more i mean i can always pull it up right on uh well what do you think people you want to hear us talk shit or you want us to get on to some fucking videos because we can then- talk shit oh can we let me get ready all right yeah here i, I can play that game <sighs> damn i already took my cap off diet coke this time so tonight's gonna be serious Oh, yeah, and I was going to tell everybody, I actually got Dark Matter and TJ something for Christmas. No way. A, yeah, a couple of shiners, but since you guys live in Florida, I'm going to have to drink them for you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Guess what? I can make jokes like that and not get barred. It's beautiful. It's okay. You I, know? Got, I got you a, a present as well. I took a picture, a screen cap of you right here with that Confederate flag hat. You like it? I did a billboard in Harlem, and then I put up your address next to it. And when, your phone number. when in the fuck would I be in Harlem? No, no, but I gave them your address and phone number. Oh, did you? In well, other that's... words, pretty soon Drew is going to have a couple more shiners. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm oh, so glad don't, don't you decided. Off that mouse. Oh, I see you grabbing that mouse. <laughs> I'm so glad you decided to join the conversation, Dark Matter, because I've got you a little buddy down there for when you start acting up, and he just oh jerks it and jerks it and jerks this it. This is you fucking serious. <laughs> no, That's no, no. Crazy. This is straight up oppressive. This is oppressive. You guys, I'm gonna be a fucking hardcore SJW by the end of this show. <laughs> I was <laughs> raped when Drew put that gif of Santorum oh jerking God, it. Santorum, <laughs> what the I, hell? Oh, Jesus. What's he saying? Let's read his lips here. You know, here, hold on. Let's try and read his lips. Let's everyone nice. guess what he's saying here. God, he looks like he's so into it. <laughs> Love fucking assholes. Love fucking assholes. No? I see. It I, sounds I, like it holes. almost looks like he's saying stroking at some point. Stroking. I Man, he's really getting into it. I'm telling you, that face, God. Well, Dark Matter, how you like your new buddy? That's your little buddy down there, Dark Matter. Make sure you get all that hand action. I want people to Just keep have his that. Hand, keep his hand away from my face, please. If we do this enough, people will have, like, it'll be like a Pavlovian effect, and, and they'll just <laughs> instantly think of Rick Santorum jerking it every time they see Dark Matter or oh. Jeffrey. 
like a dog okay. salivating right. for you know when you ring the bell. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him away. Just be cool, Dark Matter. All right, I'm gonna behave. be cool. I'd hate to have to pull him back out. Okay. It's like a dog when they start getting uh you know they, they <laughs> salivate so much when they hear the bell that they start frothing. You know, get real frothy. <laughs> frothy. Kind of ties it back into you know some good old fashioned. And, and he doesn't get anything for that though. Oh. I guess no, you know was... word. I think Drew's gonna actually send me a beer for that. Yeah, man, that was a solid joke if I've ever heard one. Oh, for Christ's sake! This is reverse baldism. If I've ever I've seen it, <laughs> reverse baldism. Oh wait, that doesn't well, I, make I, sense. I, I, it's, no, it's just baldism. Never mind. See, with with Drew, his hair sticks out the bottom of his hat. But in order to make sure that everyone knows I don't wear a hat because I'm bald, I I do let that little bit of hair peek out right there. <laughs> just to let you know, I'm not I'm not one of yeah. So this is baldism. <laughs> Not one of those types, if you <clears throat> know what I mean. Oh man, let's let's go ahead and jump into it with both fucking feet. How about that? All right, let's do it. All right, this. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me make sure this is. We want to see every little bit of this. The average dark. Okay. Uh, uh, dark matter. What do you think, man? One to ten. Um. I I I don't want to say anything until I hear what she has to say. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. Just wanted to remind you not to give up on your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> like even if you want to, just like don't. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> she booted up okay. <laughs> she, the Windows 98 has crashed. No, 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 no. I think that was 95. Or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I just want to remind you guys not to give up on your dreams. Like, <laughs> even if you want to. God damn. This was actually when I was talking about getting shit for Christmas. I was going to try to find this and send it to TJ. It's an alarm clock. <laughs> Would you like one of those, TJ? No. Like I <laughs> all the ways You know, in uh for for a while there, like until I got to the age where <laughs> I could be responsible and I actually had to wake up before school for like soccer practice or uh, basketball practice in high school and shit. But before that, I was I was still like bigger than my dad at a pretty young age because I'm a big fucking guy and I was adopted. So, uh, but he used to like wake me up with a broomstick because I, I would swing and shit. Like I was terrible. But uh, I, I eventually got past that. I still take a long time to wake up. Like I, I need at least an hour. Really? Waking up and like doing, like I go to work with sharp ass knives and stuff. So when I, I need to be fully fucking awake and, and stoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the getting stoned helps. Oh yeah, no, I, I know, I know what you mean, man. But I'm not one of those. Um, I don't understand how people like hit the snooze. <clears throat> I can't oh, do that. And, and you like still f like get 15 minutes more of meaningful sleep after yeah. you've already been woken up. Exactly. Yeah. Like people would be like, man, I hit that snooze at least five times every morning. I what I do is I set my <laughs> alarm and then I set another one for five to seven minutes later. A totally separate alarm. And that way, mm -hmm. if if I do turn off the original alarm and for some fucking reason put my head back down because I have done that, then I'll have something. But usually I'll just get up and turn the other alarm off. Yeah. Done. I mean, when, you don't you don't go to work that early, do you? Yo, yeah, I do. I have to work tomorrow now. They they fucking called me in, but I, I might not have to work on Christmas Eve because of it. But I have to go in tomorrow, unfortunately. But I'm still going to drink and have fun because that was the fucking plan that I had. And I'm going to stick with it. They'll just have to deal with hungover TJ tomorrow. Sweet. But yeah, um, let's see. 7 a.m. So I wake up before 6 usually um, on a lot of days. Sometimes you have to be in at 6, which means I'm waking up before 5, which is fucking early as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Well, I don't miss my produce days, man. My produce days, we had to be in at three every morning. Oh, yeah, fuck that. I used to work third shift as well. I worked third yeah. shift for a few years. And I mean, that was like 10 at night till six or seven in the morning. Like, you know, getting off at uh, like 1130 or 1230 or whatever, like that's cool. But, dude, every day. I mean, day... you go to bed at like six at night, but not yeah. so cool. Yeah, sucks. When I was in high school, I 
got the bright idea to put my alarm clock on the other side of the room so that I would have to get up to turn it off. Mm-hmm. And I, I when the first time it happened, I woke up and and I just reached over and grabbed this weight plate and I whipped it and and it was just the perfect throw. I could, it, I, 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 if I had tried it fifty times, I wouldn't have got this result. And the thing just, this alarm clock just shattered and rained everywhere. It was, it was beautiful. Did, I bet nice. you woke the fuck up though, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. You didn't go back to sleep after that shit. You're like, fuck. <laughs> the, the, I remember back, like in high school, my brother had this alarm clock that somebody got him as like a joke or whatever. It was one of those that it's just like solid metal. And it has like the little bells on the top, but dude, it is so fucking loud. Oh yeah. It don't matter where you are in that house. You can hear it, dude. And like every time it would go off, everybody would wake up and be like banging on the door and shit. Like, Oh yeah. That my dad had the same ones. They were smaller though. And they were wind up. You mm -hmm. had to wind them. So you're constantly winding and setting them because they would only stay going for 24 hours. So if you didn't use it two days in a row, you had to reset it. But that thing was so fucking loud. Yeah. No matter, and, and the worst part is when you forgot about the fucking thing or, or you set it wrong, <laughs> you know, you'd be like, you set it for 6.30 p.m. instead of a.m. accidentally, and then you're sitting, like, watching a movie, and all of a sudden the goddamn loud-ass alarm goes up, up on, you know, like, you're like, what the, what the fuck? That's even scarier than being <laughs> woken from sleep, you know? No. Totes. Sounds like a fucking fire alarm going off in your Dude, own house. There's, if you sleep through that, you're dead. There's, there, I can't imagine how anybody could sleep through that. That's the idea. My dad's, my dad was uh, in California for like a business trip a long ass time ago, and uh, he said he was in a hotel, was like sleeping, sleeping through the night, and he said he was having a dream, and all of a sudden in the dream he's like on a trampoline and he's bouncing up and down, and then he said he woke up and he was fucking in the middle of a huge earthquake, <laughs> and the, like the whole bed was like leaving the fucking floor. And like he was bouncing on the bed and about to fall off the side. That was what woke him up. Jeez. And, like, and he said he ran the fuck outside and everyone else is running outside. And then they all started looking at him and he realized he ran out like pretty much naked. <laughs> and so he had, someone, someone had to bring him a fucking blanket. <laughs> uh, my dad's an awesome guy. Anyway, what you got next? Um, There's a couple ways we can go with this. Let's go ahead and go. She's back. That is an extremely problematic title, video title, <laughs> that's, by the way. That's the one uh, TJ sent me. TJ sent it with that. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. I didn't send it like that. I <laughs> you did? I did not at all. The I said Japanese. Ja oh, Japanese. Sure. It's the same you, shit. Your your abbreviation is not the way I sent it. <laughs> is that not the PC abbreviation? Well, why, is, why is that... Uh, like a a to say like Jew and not Jap. No, I mean like no. I'm wondering why. Like when did was that like a World War Two thing that that yeah, became? That's what I'm thinking. There was a lot of uh, Jap, Jap anti Japanese wait, wait, propaganda a lot of, going on. A lot of Jap, Jap, <laughs> Jap, 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 uh, anti Japanese. Um, come on, dark matter, get with it. <laughs> like, have you ever seen those propaganda posters? Like, even like just from you know regular corporations, like. Like like the like the uh, uh, like the Exxon, you know, you'd see the Exxon would have like a poster with you know, uh, with the stere with the stereotypical evil looking Japanese face, well, like you the, know, well, like the big teeth and like the little eyes and the glasses and shit. Yeah, and it would say something like, uh, you know, put in those extra hours, or you know, or or it would say, oh, me no want you to work extra hour, you know. <laughs> make 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 war easy for us. Can someone just go ahead and take that out of context? Uh, and set <laughs> let's please? let's go in in our clip, man. Fiftieth episode. God damn. Well, God let's damn. let's see what she has to say. This is the little. I, I should uh, have learned not to talk a long time ago. For, probably. <laughs> it just stay. He shows up, stays on the the podcast for like three hours or whatever. Never says a goddamn thing. Yeah. I would bar you for that. That's Insta bars. But so this little thing, that's what it means, Frozen? That's from the movie, right? It's a, it's a little the, snowman. Little snowman. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, you have a you have a little girl. I'm sure you've seen that a few times. Little daughter, man. I, I just spent a ridiculous amount of money. She's really into Minecraft right now, though. 
she's not in the house and she doesn't watch my podcast. So <laughs> I can say that I got her. Uh, she's getting we have an Xbox. We're putting that in her room along with Minecraft for the Xbox. And then I got her some like Minecraft figures and shit. She also wanted she like she likes all kinds of shit. Dude, we, we went totally overboard. Got her like a fifty dollar eBay gift card so she can get some other shit that she wants. Damn, listen to these sons of bitches. Dude, they we got her she's got a, like a tablet, an LED TV, uh like a cell phone that's not like hooked up, but you know, for her to like play games and shit with. She's like <coughs> so rotten, man. Dark matter? And your your little guy? Did he get his own lotus or something? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, a hot a hot like a Power oh, Wheels Lotus. Power Wheels Lotus. Oh my god. You get, up that you, shit. So far you got a really nice bead maze his favorite thing his favorite toy in the world is his bead maze so i got him one that's like four times bigger and he loves that thing a bead maze someone yeah. told me don't get her xbox minecraft well it's too late because we have the xbox we're tired of her playing on our fucking playstations so my girlfriend has her like the plays in the living room with that tv i am in the man cave with my tv and my playstation 3 if she's going to want to play Minecraft constantly or whenever, it'll be a hell of a lot easier just because we have this Xbox that hasn't even been plugged in for a while. Hmm. Here, you got that, and here's the freaking, you get it on Xbox, kid. That's the fucking deal. I treated myself to a, a new 4K m computer monitor, which I'm looking at right now, and I'm really regretting it because you guys are in excruciating detail. Hmm. It's really funny because, like, it's not like I have a 4K camera. <laughs> I don't think you're getting me in fucking 4K right now. Plus with no, that but, I, but I still wanted the 4K insult, so it yeah. happened. Yeah, right. The 4K monitor. I mean, how's that working with, like, there's not even a whole lot of YouTube videos that are 4K, are there? is there? It looks really, sh my, my the operating system is incredibly crisp. Like, it's nothing compared to my 1080p monitor that I had before. See, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> a 1080p. Well, I don't even know what mine is. And I just bought it. My, I'm, I, Mine's an LED 1080, but, I mean, Jesus, it's totally fine. There's some videos that, that when I watch on YouTube, I'm like, holy fuck. I, like, I didn't know my monitor could do that. Uh, <laughs> and, and that's enough for me. I watch movies and shit on mine. Yeah. And, and that's enough for me. I mean, really, really for me, as long as it's like above, was it, was it two or three eighty or three sixty or whatever it is, as long as it's above that, if it's <laughs> at least Christ, no, I I need at least the four, like f fucking. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, four eighty or whatever it is. Yeah, that's bare minimum. Yeah, as long as it is like, if it's above that, it's fine. Like if it's like, oh, this is seven twenty, and I wanted ten eighty. Like who, if, I don't. If you're not watching it on a fucking like eighty inch screen, it's not going to make a huge difference. Yeah for that kind of quality once it gets that size then it starts to matter my parents have a fucking like super high gigahertz fucking tv my dad just wanted he's like last tv i'm ever gonna buy and i want it to be awesome and he fucking got i mean it's it makes old movies look like like they you know totally hd and shit like i it, it's ridiculous it makes me feel i don't know like my tv is subpar so i do understand where dark matter is coming from with that because oh, some like you can watch an old movie like or, or even a movie from like the 90s or whatever that you've seen this movie you know how this movie looks then you watch it on that shit and you're like holy fuck yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's it's way way fucking better i could I, now i'm going to rewatch this movie because it looks way fucking better than it than it did the first four times i watched it or whatever oh. which i need to get one of those tvs how much do you pay for your monitor dark matter it was um like five eighty something like that. Never mind. <laughs> I just bought a TV for way less than that. Pretty nice TV. Well, but it's, uh, it's not four K and it's not a super <clears throat> high um, hertz. Yeah. Well, what you're looking for it. if you want that clean, crisp picture. Fuck it. DPR is fapping in high def. We're yeah, all right, just... so we've, we've had this bitch looking at Snowman for quite some time without playing the video. How about we watch this? Do you need a friend? Okay! Come on, let's go and play. You're okay? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like English you would tell me. Oh! What what 
is that? I have. Is that ice cream? Oh yeah, that's got to be what it is. Is it? Ice cream, yeah. Good call. I started talking to the pictures on the wall. Oh! Hang in there, John. Nothing. Watching the hours tick. Nothing. Um. Wait. Nothing. Nothing. Wait. Wait for it. She looks like the goddamn Joker. Joker the, yes, the, the the Japanese Joker. <laughs> is that... What in the hell is wrong oh, with this God lady? Goddamn, she's insane. She These is. videos are they they're always they've gone viral, like all of them. So she and she just keeps doing nuttier shit. C congratulations. Yeah, yeah she <laughs> so, really regret you clicking play it was much better <laughs> like oh the sweet little can we look at the before and after can we look at the before and after okay. can you scroll yeah, it back to the beginning oh like total and then, psycho and then, wait what was it for the beginning again what do you call it? oh yeah not, not 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 too shabby oh yeah and Pretty. then <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. you see you see that's why you don't just Come on to the, you know, any old good looking woman that you see on the street. You got to get to know her first. We talked about this. It's the the hot crazy ratio. There's got to be yeah. a balance. And this bitch is tipping the scale way too much in the crazy favor. I, I don't know. You want to you wanna grab a, a screen cap of that as a backup want, thumbnail? Do you want this one or do you want her doing that other crazy? <laughs> Dude, that is <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I got it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, I did get. Oh, hold on. We gotta watch it soon. Here it is. This is the one that TJ just wanted to show so bad. No, no, no. I, I said <laughs> that if you're gonna show one, this should be the one. It has not been easy for me. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> Absolute fucking insanity. <laughs> when this guy dies, <laughs> when this guy dies, the cops are going to go to the house and they're going to find little children buried all in the backyard, like all in the crawl space on the floorboards and shit. I mean, it's going to be just eggshell everywhere. Yeah, dude, it's going to be some Ed Gein, John Wayne Gacy shit going on in that fucking house. That or in 400 years, people will look back and see him as like Michelangelo. <laughs> Dark Matter, are you a little bit jealous of that hair? What are you talking about? He shaved his head. Yeah, but he put the hair back after he spiced it properly. Yeah, you just threw yours uh -huh. away, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I wasted all that hair. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. We got another one here. Envy number one. <laughs> did you see that attack? The first attack the cat did there. Go back to when the like look, <laughs> look at that face. It's like it's like <laughs> with its head. <laughs> oh, cats! 
Why are cats so fucking insane? Dude, I want to know what the fuck is going on with this. Okay, you want me to... I'll explain it to you, but go ahead. There's no sound. Ah. Oh, okay. They put a dog's a muzzle Snap. through the... Yeah, they, yeah they, that's good. Uh, through the fucking... Yeah, because that freaked me out when I was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> so I would definitely not buy this for a loved one. <laughs> yeah, that is totally fucking creepy when, when you don't know what the fuck is going on. Let's see. Um, this one, this one was interesting. This is like cops that are also like taught ballet or some shit. I think I sent this to you as uh, you've been doing it wrong. Yeah. What does that sound say? We never fell? Is it fell. A... Yeah, we never fell. 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 How do you say it? Fail. We never fell. Like A. The word yeah. A. Like the A. There's an A. A hard A. The A in the dictionary with the line above it. Fail. Motherfuckers think they're in the matrix. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, I, they almost look like they're about to shoot themselves. <laughs> like, rather at the end, just like, yep. Yeah, hilarious. That was Jeez. the last step in their routine. The this last. Is dumbest shit I've ever. You don't fuck around like that on the damn range. Sorry. Well, they have complete con uh, trigger control, like that five year old <laughs> kid, that <laughs> yeah. one lady. Gave a revolver or whatever for a fucking their Christmas card picture. Oh, I skipped a cat one. Uh oh. What do we got? TJ smokes way, way too uh, hopefully much. Hopefully that doesn't do a copyright on the YouTube video. God damn it. For that no, fucking cat video. What, what's the name of that fucking band? I don't know. They play that at work every once in a while. Yeah, they've had a few hits, actually. I can't fucking someone, believe it. Someone in the chat knows. Soul something? No. That was my shit, man. Growing up back in the nineties, yeah, Collective Soul. That's it. Bam, Collective Soul. I knew it was Soul something. Uh, something Soul, whatever. <clears throat> hey, check this out. You know the new Star Wars movie came out. So hey, yeah, we heard kind of heard about it. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet though, so don't. Well, I'm not. But this is kind of, I guess, geared towards those types. Ah uh, no. Lonely are you? <laughs> <laughs> The hottest Jedi's in the galaxy are waiting to talk to you. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. My friends want to chat too. <gasps> no, Job is not here right now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, damn it. And that. That's so. Keeping... Oh. That's keeping actually with, a really high quality mask there. You're keeping with that one. Play that. I sent you one in the in the Skype chat. This right. this fucking thing. The first time I saw it, it had me crying. Hold on. Is it is it YouTube? Yeah. Come on, show the fucking thing. Oh, well, I'll do it after this. Hold on. You want me to put my lightsaber where? <laughs> no. <laughs> Call me. Call now, you will. Day wanna party? Not all girls meet minimum midichlorian counts. Not available on Alderaan or Coruscant. I like how they made it look old. 
<laughs> with like VHS. Yeah. God damn it, Dark Matter. I can't even open the fucking IM. What the hell? Can you send it to me here on Vaughn? Yeah. Uh, Try that. For some reason, I can't even open it there. Mm. And. Oh, here we go. Paste. There. So, TJ, let's say you were bedding down with your old lady, right? And she's like, oh, but I got something new for the bedroom. She pulls out that fucking. That admiral, uh, that admiral's fucking mask, that squid guy, right? And she's like, "TJ, it's a trap." Does that, <laughs> does that do it for you or what? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I, I've, uh, I've had, you know, um, how, how to say this? Re- You've had sex with a fish before, so it's not that different. She's a nerdy girl. So, I've had requests for the Deadpool mask. <laughs> the Deadpool mask? Yeah, but it gets hot. The Deadpool mask. Do you, like, pass out? No. It's just, like, doesn't fucking breathe worth the shit. It looks great, but... Oh, I thought you meant it gets hot. Hot. Yeah, well, that uh, too. Not the good kind of hot. Dude, what the fuck? Why is it taking so long to load this shit? I don't know, bro. Your internet... Uh, get the uh, the AIDS. Close yeah. all them Pornhub tabs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that chicks and dick stuff that Joe's been sharing with you. <laughs> but I like it. What? Is that, that was, was a Wookiee. Oh my god, <laughs> it was fucking Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. Oh, it's just the chair. We've already. Or no, no, it's it... not. No, no. Sorry. Um, it's... give me a sec. I thought that was like going on in your background there, and I was like, "That was fucking yeah, I perfect." Someone scooted their chair. Okay. Drew is instead going to share with everybody what we are viewing, and it is apparently a toilet paper dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's great. It, it looks like that fucking picture's actually been there for a while too. <laughs> Everybody's left it there and got a good chuckle out of it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Moving on here, we had some more. Oh, this is this is like a, a batch of uh, drug commercials or something. Oh God, yeah. Um, this is Stoner Sloth. It's an Australian anti marijuana campaign ad campaign. So this is three different commercials, and they are all so bad, and they're unintentionally like hilarious. Well, isn't that like most anti-weed commercials? Yeah. Well, this is this is over the top for sure. <clears throat> okay, time's up. Pens down. Delilah, pens down, Delilah. Mm. Jason, could you pass the salt, please, darling? Jason, the salt. TJ. That's fucking I, TJ. And Dude, you know I I am so fucking who the fuck out there is like that? I've had a couple of strains that kind of made me feel like that, I guess. But, but for dude, the most part, on. I mean, I'm baked right now. If you, dude, want. if you were sitting at the freaking table and like your old lady was like, "Hey TJ, can you pass me the salt?" You're going to be like, uh. Ooh, like get her a, get her a bowl of like salad and shit. A fucking some a salad like dude th- now you know how to turn these these commercials into a really effective campaign using the same exact same commercial just replace the words at the end with 
this commercial was created by someone on pot. <laughs> exactly. Who the Bam. fuck is up with this idea? How can you be dumber than the pothead when you don't smoke pot? That's my question. You you keep saying, oh, it makes you stupid. But you're so stupid that you thought this was a fucking good ad campaign. So, I, I, I mean, I'm smarter than you. Whether you're sober or on weed, either way, I would have known better than to fucking, after seeing these commercials, been like, okay, go. Great ad, ad campaign. Let's go full force with this fucking Jesus Australia. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I expected more from Australia. Real, you got like really poisonous spiders. You, you were originally colonized by a bunch of fucking murderous bastards. <laughs> Mad Max, okay? Mad Max, and then, and then this. So I told her she cannot wear socks and sandals out of the house anymore. <laughs> it's so funny. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> Fucking music. Dude. Weed always ruins parties. Everyone like, knows that. Uh, hey, what what do you think, Dave? Hey, <laughs> Dave? What do you think about this, Dave? Right? And it was right, great. Mate, you know, hey, Dave. Like anyone at a party, if they were like so baked, I would turn and be like, "Holy fuck, we need to find out where where they're getting that weed." Like the like the guy, hey, Dave. Who's your dealer? Is he around here at this party? This, remember the old British. Remember the the guy that like thought he was frozen in time smoking the weed? You remember that? We oh, played yeah. it on like the last episode. <laughs> call the guy. Call the ambulance. <laughs> oh my god! And with frozen the time man, that fucking dude, he was over. They call me Sub Zero because I freeze niggas. And I was like, oh my god, dude, that shit is fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> and also, do you notice? Do you notice that they're all drinking at this party? Well, they're drinking well, yeah. red cups, so you can't tell. Well, you know what's going on there. No, no, you don't know. Drew. You do know. Why they did the red cups? Well, and, I, I and it avoids any kind of copyright shit because, like, Coca Cola is not going to let them hold a Coke can. Whoa, bro! Smoke. Whoa! I haven't seen the sloth smoke weed. For all I know, it's you know he was just he was born that way. Maybe he's on some kind of prescription medication. Perhaps Maybe the sloth. Just has really slow metabolism. You ever think about that? Maybe he got bit by one of those fucked up little critters they have yeah, over there. The way, fucking everyone Australia. loves sloths. Everyone, like, they're, they're cool as shit. Nobody is like, oh man, you know, what? okay, new idea. How about we start using animals for all the different drugs, right? And so we'll need like, like a, what, what would be like a squirrel, I guess, for cocaine. <laughs> like, <laughs> super and that'll be like coke squirrel all right hashtag coke squirrel <laughs> stoner sloth damn so so when you smoke weed they implying that like stoners can't talk yeah like stoners if your best friend's a stoner you don't want him as a wingman because you're never getting laid oh yeah oh that's the <laughs> yeah and his buddy's like damn i missed out on some you know on some goodies because this, my buddy's a stoner this, well. this is chewbacca's stoner nephew <laughs> Oh, stoner sloth. It's fucking retarded. What what did we have? We had uh the little girl that the girl that's like sitting on the couch and she's like deflated or whatever. Oh, we we yeah, we watched a few of them. Um what all did we have? I don't remember there I'll being tell you like what, one. You guys what uh people out there, if you want to give us some requests of really terrible anti-drug commercials or ads or campaigns and shit like that, uh please do link those, send those to us probably through the uh goddamn podcast facebook would be the best way to go about it um and uh, we'll we'll be happy to look through them and kind of feature some of those in future episodes because totally there are some terrible ones they, they have no clue how to reach it's like republicans trying to reach like the youth you know <laughs> like they they're terrible at it they don't they don't know how here check this i love you back you used, used to, to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone late night when you need 
my love and I know and that hotline wait that can only mean one thing I know and that hotline wait that can only mean one thing ever since I left the city you got a reputation for yourself now everybody knows and I feel left out girl you got me down you got me stressed out Cause ever since I left the city, you started wearing less and going out more. Glasses of champagne out on the dance floor, hanging with some girl I've never seen before. You used to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. So creative sons of bitches, man. Dude, that takes a lot of fucking work. Especially um, timing down like that. It's too busy doing rap videos to run the country. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> you know you know what? That's actually... Uh, that joke is actually like coming from reality. Cause j like just the other day, my wife showed me this post on Facebook of someone saying... Uh, 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 like showing where Obama said he's going to go see Star Wars now you know oh, and God. and she's like oh oh because going to see star wars is more important than oh i don't know comforting the victims at san bernardino <laughs> it's like dude what the fuck is wrong with you you know bush works like eight weeks out of the year and he didn't get the shit obama does for seeing a fucking movie dude yeah well you know obama also just spent his time with like bear grills in alaska and shit yeah it's always something for that is that he wanted to see the land that he was going to destroy by allowing them to go like fuck it all up dude I actually went over that with my family a couple of months back because they were trying to say the thing about you know uh obama is always on vacation and shit it's like you know, you know he took he's taking less like he would have to spend it was and this was like you know like i say a few months ago obama would have to spend the entire rest of his presidency on vacation and he still wouldn't take as many vacation days as bush and like we went over all the stats, looked up, everybody had their phones out, and they were all fucking wrong. Dude, the, there was some, I, I sent you these videos, and I don't know if you ever, uh, if, I don't think we ever used them or whatever, but it was just two short videos. And one of them was like people calling out Obama for like not, not like having the right attitude when discussing like 9-11 and like Muslims and shit like that and terrorists and, and not using the wording right. And they were being so picky. And then the other one I sent was Bush, when he's like, "Oh, we're gonna go get him. We're gonna take him out. Now watch this drive." Yeah. And it was like, Psh. you know, <laughs> like, it, sure, it it was a little bit of a a a thing, I guess, back then when he did that. Liberals kind of make made us think about it, but goddamn, how people forget. I, my thing is, I don't want to be a hypocrite about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not choosing fucking sides. I, I'm. I'm sticking to a fucking like value system, basically. And one of those values is don't be a fucking hypocrite. If you are, try and change that shit. Uh, recognize where you're going wrong, and shit like that. But a lot of people do not seem to have that quality. Yeah. Um, hold on. I was thinking I had another one there. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the the bottom line. Just trying to be maintain consistency and shit. Like just be consistent. I mean, it, they, the the liberals did, you know, give give Bush a lot of shit and stuff. And I've seen it, you know, in the since Obama's got in, they do it to Obama too, man. But it, I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't seem the same. I mean, it's with Bush to look at it just objectively. There was a lot you could fuck with Bush about, and it has not, not even necessarily have to do with like the vacationing and stuff. He was an idiot. Listen to him talk, and he's an idiot. Look. Fool, fool me once, yeah. Shame, shame on me. Fool me, fool me twice. C can't get shamed again. Right? How how innocent everyone was when the biggest problem facing the president was getting caught, getting his dick sucked. Yeah, yeah. So innocent. Oh, pre nine eleven America. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> Everybody was all up in arms. Hell yeah. We are we're becoming the old men, you know, like how every generation hates, and we're like, no, no, we're not going to be like that, man. We're not going to be like that, and then it's all like, like, you know, what they're doing. 
Yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck, we're going to hate this. Like, we're going we're gonna to do the same thing. They've managed to fuck it up. We went from awesome 90s music to, like, that oh, crap God. they call music now. Yeah. And I, I've become that old man already. <laughs> I know, dude. I'm still in my fucking 20s, and I've, I've, I've gotten that way. Like, we talk about all the time, and we had those little remixes and shit on here. We're like, Jesus fucking Christ, music sucks, man. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone. Well, it's like, at least that is, like, clever, and it's not meant to be serious. But some of the shit that is passed off is, like, no, that, serious that, well, artistic music. Song. I actually kind of like that song. It's, like, more catchy. If it's As long as it's, like, cat, kind of catchy and not really super re fucking competitive, I can appreciate All it. Right. doesn't mean I want to hear it, like, every hour on the hour. I hate these radio stations that it's like, oh, hey, well, we'll play, like, 12 songs. The same 12 songs. Yeah. In a slightly different order, hour after hour after hour. That's not fucking entertaining to me. I would get sick of my own favorite songs listening to them that often. I saw it. one you had that was pretty decent in the... Yeah, I've got some of these saved, though. Already in the queue. Oh, well, yeah, but I was I was going to play... I don't know, I can play this one right now, but we have about five minutes till break. You want to play it now? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see why we should really need to talk to talk about it for more than five or six minutes. Cool. Oh, by the way, uh, Dark Matter, this is another one that relates to shit that is still going around on Facebook. It's just all over the place. So I am taking time out of my busy day to try to put to rest one of the more moronic things I have seen on the internet lately. And that's saying something. Through my Facebook feed, I saw yet again that old, tired argument of that question. Jet fuel only burns at 1,500 degrees, and since steel melts at 2,700 degrees, 9-11 was a conspiracy. I am so sick and tired of this argument. Now, I am not going to make any claims to what did or did not happen. If it was a conspiracy, I do not care. What I am upset about is the retarded metallurgical things that you guys are saying. I'm not arguing the facts. Jet fuel does in fact burn at 1500 degrees. Steel, we all start melting some carbon steels at 2300 degrees. But if you hold this up as a reason for conspiracy, you are an idiot. This is a piece of half-inch thick steel. A36, structural steel, designed for structures. This is a 250 pound anvil. I'm gonna put this steel in the back of this anvil and I'm going to lift this 250 pound anvil with this bar of steel. Do you see how the structural steel is supporting this anvil? Okay, there. Now, in my furnace, I have an identical piece of half inch bar of steel, just like this. And it's gonna be around 1800 degrees just 300 more than jet fuel when it comes out. And I want you to see something very interesting. Go into the forge. It's very hot, but not melted. Obviously, it is not melted. I put this in the oven. Now watch this. I'm gonna take my pinky finger, my pinky finger, half inch solid steel. Check it out. It's a freaking noodle. Your argument is invalid. Get over it. Find a job. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that, that we'd always said, man. It's it doesn't have to fucking melt it. All it has to do is make it weak enough to they I, I exactly. immediately I or immediately see the problem and it's that it came out of the uh his little furnace there, kiln or whatever, at 1800, which is 300 above <laughs> jet fuel burns at. So, therefore, invalid. Right. Absolutely. Like, he couldn't bend it. Like, you just put a weight of a building on it and see what happens. Yeah, put, put the weight of a skyscraper that has just had a fucking commercial airliner slammed into the side of it. Jesus Christ. I, I, I can't believe that. And that's that's the kind of shit they go after. Yeah. Well, what part of controlled demolition do you not understand, TJ? Building seven, bro. <laughs> did you get, Drew, did you get that uh, message in Skype? I, I set, tried to send you a video in Skype. I don't know if it'll work for you, though. Again? No, for some no. reason, hold on. Let me try to fuck that up. Hold on. Okay. Um, Is that a site? You no, said... no, that's a video. You have to download. Yeah, go ahead. 
Dark Matter, I'm trusting you on this. <laughs> it's it's just a funny video. If the stream gets trashed, <laughs> Dark Matter. You're going to see the stream just go like... Zzz. Anyway, um, you got one more quick one? Yeah, or, I was going to play. I was going to play this one. Is this one good for this section, Dark Matter? Yeah, especially right after the 9-11 one. All right, I guess we'll give you a chance. I guess you come here often enough that you can make requests, too. <laughs> it's just funny, stupid, funny shit. Is TJ off. is very particular <laughs> about such things. Okay. And it, where did it download? Oh, you got a cock file? That's yeah, with... That's... uh. That's all of our shit over the years. Um, goddamn, where the hell did this thing download? <laughs> Shut up, TJ. Jesus. I gotta fill in dark matter. <laughs> The one time TJ shuts the fuck up is the time where there's actually dead air. Doom. <laughs> I received Skype. What was it called? ISIS. There it yeah. is right there on the left. Christ, what kind of file is that? It's a, a web webm. A webm? Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, man. All my shit's going to get fucked up. Yeah, I wouldn't open that on my computer. It's yeah. like it's a funny. Uh, that's a that's a, like, a webm vi webm virus. I mean, video. Yeah, let's see if it'll open it's in here. Telling a ball joke from that computer again, <laughs> that fucker. Let's see if it opens. ISIS, if you come to New York City and you try to blow anything up, I'm coming for you. Yeah, ISIS niggas, fuck your ISIS niggas. We from New York. I'm from Brooklyn. Fuck ISIS. They <laughs> killed my boy Biggie. Hey, yo, what the fuck? He, 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 he. <laughs> ISIS killed Biggie. <laughs> now we know. What the fuck is wrong with people, man? <laughs> she's she's right up there with the the other thug dude, thug versus ISIS. Oh yeah, the guy. Y'all yeah, yeah. got shit fucked up, homie. Dun, like, dun, dun, I like the way dun, they put dun, her dun, in the dun, damn dun, jet dun, and dun, the tank. Dun, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Fucking oh. hell. All right, man. It's it's break thirty. Break thirty. All right, we will uh, we will be right back. I think we have some special, awesome uh, break stuff lined up for we you do. guys this we time. We do some real goodies. Hang in there. We'll be. Right back. I wasn't gonna say anything, but mm. you know what that sounds like, TJ? Sounds like somebody wants to meet back up with Mister Frothy Santorum. Oh yeah, you, you're muted, TJ. Why don't you keep, why don't you keep chubbing on that dark matter? I'm like, oh fuck yeah, you're fucking Central with my <laughs> appetite now. I got some perfectly good Fritos. Are they barbecue flavored? That's Centaur's favorite. Oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> they're, they're totally barbecue. Oh like, fuck yeah, totally fucked it. up. Nailed that shit. God, I love my life. That's right there. Every bad thing that's happened in my life is just erased right there. No regrets anymore because I called the barbecue flavor of the chips. TJ's aspirations in life have been met. Oh, nailed it. Even that's surpassed. About, surpassed even. <clears throat> that's the thing about TJ and I, man. That's why we're never disappointed by shit. We set the bar low as fuck. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him something else to live for. What's this? What's this, TJ? Mm. The diet, yeah. I want to say diet Coke. Is it or is it diet Pepsi? No, uh, it's root Damn. beer. It's isn't it? me. It's, it's root. classic me. It's root, root beer. Yeah. Oh no! no my, <laughs> I've lost my talents. They came and went so quickly. It's like, <laughs> quick, don't, tell me another one. Give me another one. God damn it! <laughs> All right, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Like, give me one more chance. Let me let me see if I can. Number right. hairs on your head. Yeah. <laughs> Zero. Well, I kind of missed a spot when I was shaving my head, so there's like this little streak of hair. Nineteen. 
<laughs> a little streak. That's for you. That's you know, for most people, that would be like nine hundred or nine thousand, you know, hair. But for you, that's like it's nothing. For Drew, that's like ten billion. Look at that shit. He's over nine thousand. I'm gonna donate some one day. One day when I die, I wanna put it in my will. Dark matter can have my hair. I want them to scalp me, and he can wear it around the house. Scalp. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just I'm gonna give him my whole body so he can just wear it around. <laughs> wear it around the house, just my skin suit. You know how uh we're, we'll, we'll nerd rage a little bit here. You remember how Han put Luke in the Tauntaun? You can do that with me when I die. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, there's actual stories of people doing that shit all through. Like horses and shit or something? Yep. Oh. It's, it, dude, I've being really cold sucks. Yeah. It hey, is dude. really bad. They say that, like, falling into freezing, you know, that the water that they do the crab fishing in and shit, like, it's, it's like getting burned <clears throat> the way that it affects your body. You know, extreme cold. Put your hand in a fucking ice chest. And hold it there for a fucking while, and it starts to really hurt, and it's just like just like getting burned. It's a terrible way to die. Have you guys? Okay, so you haven't seen the new Star Wars? No, I I, 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 I wouldn't I've, ruin it for anybody. I've seen it. Okay, you saw. I won't, it? I won't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's absolutely zero spoilers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would. Oh, I would never do that. It, well, it, after like a month, then if people haven't seen it, it's their own goddamn fault. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll give you time, especially for you know it's a goddamn Star Wars movie. But you know what else I watched? That new uh, Tarantino, that Hateful Eight or whatever, you guys seen that? No, no I, I missed it. See it just just because okay. like the cops were boycotting it. And shit. What? Yeah, the cops are boycotting it because Tarantino was like speaking out against them a bit. So cops were like getting together and like we're gonna boycott this next movie because he talks some shit about it. And, and then he was like, okay, <laughs> I would imagine right. like. Is that really his demographic? Like cops? <laughs> well, I heard seven of the eight hateful eight are actually just from the LAPD, so Oh. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Anyway, it's a good movie. Remember that little bit about the cold if you watch it. Okay. Yeah, just try. Yeah, um like, that cold stuff is it's well, it's terrible. I, I lived up to New Hampshire in a little place right off the fucking ocean that didn't have a heater and one entire wall was like glass. So when it when like winter hit, like it got cold, but when winter actually hit, I was like, "Fuck it," I put all my shit in my fucking truck and I drove back to Florida. I wasn't doing it. There's you cannot get me to fucking put up with that kind of cold. Like where you're outside for like thirty seconds and you can't feel your fucking face. Well, and and, and where we're from, it's like especially worse, man. I remember I went to Iowa and it was like everybody else was wearing just like you know, like it was nothing. And I was freezing my fucking ass off. So far, Florida's winter has been one day. One day I wore a sweatshirt. One fucking day. Yeah, and we've had more than a sweatshirt in Vegas because that's all I'm fucking bringing. Yeah, we've we've had a couple here, but they come and go. Like one morning it'll be like uh, 35, the next morning it's like 70. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's still hot as shit in Florida. For all of you wishing that it was hotter where you are, we're still using AC and shit. I've got fans blowing on me right now. Yeah, my AC's yeah. been on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want to give something away or? Oh, uh, sure. Why not? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, this is something that does not that does not have a date to go along with it. So. Like like every weekend throughout all of TJ's high school years. Hey yo, ouch! Nice. <laughs> I had to hurry up and unmute for that one. <laughs> he's I know he's sitting back there eating and he just like comes up with one and scrambles. You hear him knocking shit over and stuff. Oh. <laughs> he said he doesn't have a date. <laughs> um. Oh, I guess it does have a date on it. All right, fine. You tell me the date, and this is not a book, but you win it. You tell me the date. Damn, I forgot to add my miscellaneous music. Nobody guess it. Nobody the expiration it. date of that first pack of condoms you thought you were going <laughs> to use. <laughs> Yeah, 
Anything? I still haven't seen it. I'm trying to keep up. Legion Bunny, I guess. Legion Bunny? If Legion Bunny, you're a patron, right? All right. The Legion Bunny. Legion Bunny. Bam. All right. What you have won. You remember these 20 questions? Oh, I thought that was a little thing that you had a pet and you had to take care of it. No, this is, it's a 20 questions. You basically come up with, um, a thing, a person, place or thing. And this, and we'll ask you 20 questions and then guess what you have been like, what your thing, person, place or thing is. I've actually done these before. It's really kind of disturbing how smart this little fucking thing is you really you think you can outsmart it but it's pretty fucking hard so uh there you go this thing it actually usually does it in less than 20 less than 20 questions so it'll try it'll waste questions trying to guess because that's how fucking good it is so So, dark matter are you are you seeing where the decline was these little gadgets came out and now kids play with them instead of playing with other kids Mm -hmm. you see where i'm going with this yeah yeah Thanks, TJ, for bringing that back. Uh oh, not a patron apparently. Well then, oh. I don't know if if I really even feel like going back and finding the next fucking. <laughs> All right, fine. First person to tell me what kind of battery and how many this thing takes wins it. It takes C batteries. No. Was it the the little bitty ones? Aren't those? Fuck! What are those called? Triple A's? No, no, no! Uh, the little circular. Two it's two triple A's. Really? You, you're so fucking retarded, Drew. What are them little batteries called? No, not the triple A's. Remember the ones that like uh, they're just like circular. The watch batteries. Yeah, like watch batteries. Yeah, that wrong. You can't get those because those are have all just numbers and letters. There you go. So, two triple A's was the answer. Uh, c- congratulations. Stop fucking guessing if you're not a patron. Or, or we'll uh, ban your ass. How's, how's that? Everyone seems to be real happy ban. with jumping on the bandwagon, so let's do that. <laughs> on the bandwagon? I like it, TJ. See, Dark Matter, this is how you set up jokes. You see how good he's doing? He's on fire tonight. <laughs> And I've been drinking for a while too. And he's stoned. You're, I'm impressed. Dark yeah, Matter, you're, you're sober. You're sober. Just, he's bald. Not, so it's drink, like kind of breaking even. I'm drinking root beer. Dude, I was actually going to buy a six pack of this stuff. It was like not your father's root beer or some shit. It's, it's all right. It's Yeah, I, I was going to try it in the name of Dark Matter. I was going <clears> to buy a sixer and try it on the show, but that's the kind of stuff I can only drink like one or two and I, I don't want to. Yeah, well, I, I was at a friend's and I had one, but then again, I don't drink soda, man. So like anytime I taste soda now, it doesn't taste good to me at all. And so I don't know if it was just a shitty drink or or if, I don't know, maybe it was just my taste buds. I don't know. I had I had some blueberry beer that it was like the first couple sips were incredible. And then by the I, by the end of it, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no more of this. Yeah. So, what do you usually drink, Drew? That's not alcoholic. Water. Ugh. Seriously, I drink a shit. I seriously drink probably like it, at least a gallon and a half of water like every afternoon. I drink a shitload of water. The only other things I'll drink is like uh, cranberry juice. You're like one of those uh, pee fetish guys, like wet dreams, if you if you would, you know. No. <laughs> water and crap right. are you on your period <laughs> no i don't drink soda man all i drink is uh water and cranberry juice and beer that's it creepy all right what do you got for us um this one i actually watched a little bit of it i watched the longer version with uh with my mom the other day because she was telling me about it this is the miss universe scandal everybody heard about this yeah Yep. You heard about this, Dark Matter? I heard about this shit. Yeah, I heard about it. Okay. Well, in this video, they've already crowned this lady. And the and other one... they music for a long time. Yes. She's been celebrating for quite some time by now. 
Jeez. This is, dude, this is brutal. And Steve Harvey has that look on his face because now he knows he fucked up. <laughs> you know what? I feel bad for the women or whatever, but I'm totally, totally glad this happened to Steve Harvey. That guy is such a fucking asshole. I know, man. Have you ever heard the things he said about atheists? Oh, yeah. I've heard he don't even want to know them or nothing. Like, I, I've, I've featured that in my, uh, uh, what was it? The ignorance one I did. Mm -hmm. I did two. Oh, uh, epic, epic ignorance. Epic ignorance yeah. and epic. <clears throat> epic brilliance but yeah he, I, he was featured in that what but can we look at the pants what's up what's going on with these pants here is it are is he wearing like capris or is that just the lighting <laughs> it's just the lighting all right they're, they're just regular slides it looked like socks and he was wearing like like <laughs> like capris you know what i mean or either that or his socks pants tucked were like up. eight his, inches too short his pant legs tucked into his socks or some shit Okay, folks. Uh, <laughs> Look, damn, damn, I fucked up. <laughs> I, I want everyone to know this. Just had nothing to do with the fact that he's bald. I mean, Steve Harvey <laughs> is just a straight up asshole. No, oh, no, that's, right? Let me guess, dark matter is because he's black. No, he's dark uh, matter. Well, well, that before bald, yeah. He's just an incompetent <laughs> asshole. Jesus, dark matter will throw black people under the bus before he. No, makes... no, TJ said it. Wow. Oh, yeah, but you agreed immediately. God, because of the, dude. Because um, I'm standing up for bald people. Did not hesitate. At all. Jesus, and that's racist. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that, d that is racist. There's... I have to apologize. The first runner up is Colombia. <laughs> Miss USA is talking to Miss Philippines, and Miss Philippines is just like. She don't speak English. <laughs> so she's, <laughs> she's like, "Por qué?" I'm just kidding. I know that. I know that Spanish. Yeah. That's what they yeah. speak in the Philippines. Calm down. <laughs> oh, dude, we're gonna get, we're gonna get a lot of hate comments for that. This universe 2015 is Philippines. So basically, this tells me Steve Harvey can't even read the back of a fucking card. Like, they wrote it mm -hmm. small, right? I've seen the back of the card. They wrote it too small, but at the same time, like it's pretty fucking clear. It's that it, the problem, I guess, was that he didn't understand how you're supposed to go yeah, back. How could you're he supposed possibly... to announce the the third place by second, saying second runner up, and then you announce the winner by announcing between the two that are left who second place is. Yeah, but I'm saying, dude, like this this is his job to like host this or whatever and be the speaker. How the fuck did they not just be like, Steve, the cards layout is like this. This is the way it's gonna go. He fucked it. Unless they planned this shit, which would be That's that's what I was thinking. Like, dude, they could have did this. Genius, for... but at the same time, Jesus, that poor girl. Yeah. Well, I don't know, she might have been in on it too. Skip skip forward a little bit because it's so awkward. Yeah, the best part, because I was when I watched this the first time, I was like, damn, are they going to come out there and like take that girl's crown off right on stage? And I was like, <laughs> oh my god, they do. Like, <laughs> By the way, is like not saying dick. Steve Harvey should be the whole time explaining like, my bad. But instead, he's leaving these huge, long, awkward pauses where no one knows what the fuck is going on. No one. 
the stage crew doesn't know, the fucking contestants don't know, he doesn't know, the crowd doesn't know. Like, he's just leaving these weird, long pauses. And I believe, I don't know if this one includes it, but he fucking, he's like, well, please don't blame these, these ladies. Like, what, why? Why would they blame the ladies? You fucking idiot. They didn't fuck up. <laughs> like, the only person who could have possibly thought about that, that's projection. Because Steve Harvey's probably thinking of a way to blame the ladies. <laughs> She pats her, she kind of patting her on the back like, yeah, gonna need that crown back. <laughs> Trying to pat her on the back, but that Colombian's got such a giant ass, she can't do it. She does. Just... He doesn't get the that's Oasis thing. No. For what? For that's that joke? True. What do you have against jokes? For real. God. Right. I got this racist. Between, yeah, that's the difference between racist jokes and bald, like, you know, bald shenanigans jokes and, and those, you know, those people. And then the jokes that we tell. Jesus. You get it? You understand this yet? <laughs> the good jokes. That's what I'm trying to say. Good jokes versus bad jokes. Tell tell more good jokes. You'll be all right. Yeah, we won't fuck with you. Listen, folks. Let me just take control of this. This is exactly what's on the car. I will take responsibility for this. It was my mistake. It was on the car. Horrible mistake, but the right thing, I can show it to you right here. The first runner up is Columbia. It is my mistake. Still a great night. Please don't hold it against the ladies. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Never work again, you bald fuck. Oh, see, and that kind of shit will keep you out of bars and American. Bam. How, how hard was that? <laughs> yeah, for real. It should have been done a long time yeah, ago. Just make fun of bald so, people. So, I, I saw something else. Someone said that like the problem was that they put it on a tiny card, not on a on a big board like he does for fucking family. <laughs> Show feud. me the winner. Show me number one. <laughs> we feel so badly, but it's still a great night. Thank you all. Uh, a survey for Family Feud of uh, top five most embarrassing Steve Harvey moments and have the fucking contestants guess and him have to be like, show show me, show me the time when I said I didn't want to know atheists or show me the Miss Universe. You, everyone, that's going to be the number one most embarrassing thing in his career, period. Like, that's going to stick around. Unfortunately, it should be other things probably, but... Yeah. I look. I've laughed at him before. You know, I'm not. I'm not a person that's like I can't laugh at your jokes if I don't like you. But Jesus Christ, he is still a pretty despicable person. Someone just wrote in the chat: "Bald people can't read." How the fuck did I just say that, Dan? Huh? Who? Oh. Pwned. Hey, you tell your did. wife to stop reading the chat for you. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> hey, Dark Matter, if you don't calm down and leave our fans alone, I'm gonna have to put you in the bars, bro. Just relax, okay? Take it down a notch. Take it easy. This is a, this is a <laughs> place where we all know we all know who's in charge and who has the power here, and it's not the guy with a half million subscribers. <laughs> right? Exactly. Just breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. Is that what you said? Just breathe. Yeah. Just breathe. <laughs> Look, now it's time to take away the crown. This is the best part. <laughs> Flowers too. Yeah. Did they? I I don't know because is it really? <clears throat> do they give you better flowers for first place? Is that what you do it for? Damn. I don't understand what anybody does any of that for. I mean, I I get that it's a whole thing that people are into, but I just I just don't get it. I would like, imagine to say like I'm Miss Universe or former Miss Universe, maybe. But I mean, what's the point of that? I don't I understand don't what the point is. I, I I I'm the best best person in the competition. Or the, Isn't Mister Universe a like bodybuilding? Company? Yeah, those are bodybuilders. They don't have to say shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like how we just skipped like world, and just went straight for for like yeah. oh you went from Columbia to Universe. <laughs> wow.
the the Zylorgs are gonna have something to say about that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that reminds me of the South Park biggest douche in the universe. What's the uh, what's the one from Doctor Who? The oh fuck, the ones that are in the machines. Got you're hiding the chat, and I'm sure people are oh. trying to fucking help me right now. I've never seen Doctor Who. It's not bad. Me either. I heard it's kind of hard to get into, but I know some people love it. Darlex, yes, Darlex. We were going. Um. Man, let's get into some of this this dummy shit. Dummy shit, that's my favorite. Young man, I learned that sometimes that hot chick... I don't talk like that, by the way. ...you're dating is also completely crazy. And as much fun as it is to go out with her, it's going to end badly. That's Donald Trump, the super hottie of the, I hate the GOP establishment so much. <laughs> What? That's a weird analogy for Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. yeah, one more. One more before we start commenting. I am now insusceptible to reason crew. He's sexy. He likes to party, and he absolutely puts out in the sense that he gives it to the rhinos good and hard. What the fuck? This is like for real? This is on TV. This is CNN. What the hell? He gives it to the rhinos could, good and hard? Could come up with a different analogy. Damn. But, but, but let's put that troubling mem <laughs> metaphor aside for a minute. The point's still valid. Donald Trump is not a keeper. He's not the one you want to marry. He's never going to make you happy. He's going to break your heart. And he's Dude, this guy had like a rough like high school life. Yeah. I guess. Jesus, can you imagine being this guy's wife <laughs> listening to him talk? <laughs> and like, <sighs> talk about the one you, the, the one that wasn't a keeper. I bet your wife has some regrets right about now. I'm not. I'm not even an SJW, and I find this problematic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I've already. I've already been uh, labeled by some as a regressive because apparently I've. I don't know. I don't know what it is that I've done, but apparently it's at this point it's insults. It's all insults. Just like when when Fox News calls Obama a liberal, they they don't do it like as in trying to use the definition of the word. It's more like, gotcha, Obama the liberal. Oh, oh okay. You, you, I mean, to to some people, I guess that that sets off some some bells and, and dog whistles or whatever, but. I mean, <laughs> I guess it all depends on your definition and shit, but it, it is it is pretty entertaining to get, uh, I don't know, to get labeled like I've been called an SJW as well. I'm not <laughs> not quite sure what I did. I mean, I called I think I re replied calling the guy retarded, which, which which should fucking make my point that I'm not an SJW, you know. No, uh, you're um, TJ. TJ's just a libtard. All right, that's what we call guys like TJ. Full force, old school libtard. <laughs> TJ, because TJ calls me a libtard all the time as an insult, so I call him a libtard. It's yeah. a, it's a good one, you know, because because only the most genius people use that to truly insult other people. Well, it's it's especially hilarious when it comes from another liberal. So, so yeah, yeah. TJ is an SJW libtard. He's not a keeper. Uh, He's going to break their hearts. The, How do you respond to this? I would say from the goal stand? here isn't to sleep with Donald Trump or electing a president of the United States. And you want somebody who's <laughs> tough, who's going to win the war against ISIS. And you want somebody who's actually run a business before, signed the front side of a paycheck, and knows what middle class small business owners are going through. You know, this isn't about taking them out to the drive in and I trying to make out with them. I think it's them. a metaphor. I'm going to go out on a limb. It, it, might, it might be. I don't know what Kurt's into. God bless him. It's a free country. <laughs> okay, there you go. Well, he, thanks he, for not judging. Right. He also wrote this on Town Hall, and I had to click on seven different display ads to read the article. So it might be something you guys want to look into. <laughs> you want to respond to that? Look, when I talk to you, this, this isn't a discussion, it's an intervention. Donald Trump is not conservative. He is not consistent. He is never going to do what he says he's going to do. This is a guy who was against guns. Now he's for guns. He was against Mexicans. Now he's for Mexicans. He doesn't want to. Uh, he wants to ban all uh, uh, Muslims. Now he doesn't. I don't know what he's for. All these. I, I just. I love the. I love the idea of somebody like he used to be. He used to be for Mexicans. Now he's against them. They, they talk about it like that's an issue in and of itself. Just Mexicans. Mexicans. <laughs> for or against. Mexicans and people wonder why uh, like people hate fucking Americans it's because we have people like this they're they're on the fucking television 
if someone said <clears throat> crazy shit like this in another country and they we threw subtitles on it, we'd all be like, look at that insanity. And yeah. and you, maybe some people are dumb enough to judge the entire fucking citizenry of that country by the speak, you know, by one TV clip or video clip or whatever. But I mean, I'm I'm hoping that Mexicans in general yeah. don't start generalizing us the same way that we apparently are so okay with generalizing them. I mean, I, I see that. All. I see that all the time, though. I see a lot of America bashing just based on the media that, get, that, yeah, that and that's America puts as out. Stupid. That's equally yeah. as stupid. Just, just like racism against white people is equally as stupid as racism, racism against black people. And th there's another reason I'm not a fucking SJW, because I don't believe in that privileged power shit. I think yeah. that's a bullshit. Racism is racism. One way or fucking another. Stupidity is stupidity. Melissa Paris Harry... Fucking talking about Star Wars being racist is fucking retarded no matter who the fuck you are. You know? No. Yeah. I'll try to get the... Unless you're, of course, Melissa Paris Harry or someone out there that went... When they heard it. <laughs> oh, my God. The snaps. Uh, by the way, for everybody who doesn't know what the snaps are... Does anybody here not know what the snaps are? Have you guys... That's like, what people who are so worried about triggering other people, like the clapping is too triggering. So they, like a bunch of goddamn fucking beatniks. It's like a bunch of crabs, I think. They're all just... How are claps triggering? I never got that. What well, how it? about this? How about this? How about if I, I like beat my woman and as a warning, every time I tell her, like, where's my dinner? I, I snap my fingers like, hey, woman. Why didn't you? Why didn't you clean this? <laughs> Next thing you know, you're speaking in front of a, a crowd of people that are all doing like this. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, "Oh my god, oh, it's triggering." Pundits, they, they say all, all these that. pundits go on television. They say Donald Trump will never run for president. Then he runs. Oh, Donald Trump will never release his financials. Oh, Donald Trump will fade. Now it's forty-one percent in the polls, and what do we have? Some pundit writing for some <laughs> website I've never heard no, of, no, listen, saying that we need to listen, sleep with Listen, website Trump. website has died. I, I, I've talked to multiple people who go back to the fact that you know he once was registered as a Democrat. And All right, he a lot you know, of money toward as as stupid as the guy's analogy was, I mean, red tie needs to fucking understand that it was an analogy. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude, he wasn't this, talking this, about sleeping with Trump. This guy wants to fuck Trump. <laughs> you, you you believe in this? I think he might be jealous. <laughs> no, he's mine. It just makes him look stupid. Yeah. yeah. This is the kind of conversations. The, the point, the best part was obviously the beginning. This this video goes on for Jesus like five more minutes. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know, the best part was the beginning, and and but this is the kind of shit that CNN is wasting its fucking time with. But at least it's fucking conservatives calling out Trump. I'll give them credit on that. Who knows who the fuck they would support instead, though? Like if you're shitting on trump so you could support Cruz, then you're still retarded you know there's nothing i can i can do for you at that point i you're i'm not it's not like you're gonna shit on trump and then go after an actual candidate that's worth a rat's ass and i'm not talking about hillary either here we got some more goodies oh we should have plenty of goodies i sent you fucking i'm gonna no suspend my campaign i'm not gonna suspend my do it tj do it Oh, I do declare. Oh, gee. Oh, it's is it hot in here? Is Lindsey Graham in the room? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my God. I love Amazing. it. Amazing. The likeness. I mean, without any practice at all. How, how does he do it so well right off the bat like that? That's true, yeah. It's unnatural. I, I do declare. It's like it's like someone one of that that one guy from uh, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Yeah. Oh my God! Desire to help the country, I'll probably go back to Iraq and Afghanistan and get another update. Thirty six trips has informed me, but the one thing I feel really good about. Oh, also, is is this asshole still in the race, or did he just like recently he drop out? out? I think. Dude, can you read, Drew? Oh, hey, Dark Matter missed it too. I think. Yeah, I didn't see. For fuck's sake, it's it's literally Lindsey Graham I, drops out. I, of I, race. I can't. I have an excuse though. I'm bald, so I can't read. I okay. have sunglasses on. I can't see shit in here. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, I, as I, I did it with a smile on my face, I talked about things that are important to me, and somebody better fix one day. Why are you getting out of the race? Well, because I've hit a wall here. You know, 
my campaign has come to a point where I need to think about getting out and helping somebody else. Yeah, because he has like less than 1% of like the support. Well, I mean, that's still, that's still a lot of people when you think about it, Drew. Now, do I need to make another commercial of me like smashing cell phones and whatnot? <laughs> throwing them this way and that? That last though, he's like, this is, this is for you, the Donald. <laughs> oh. Dude, he, he like rears back his arm just like girly, like he's never thrown like a baseball in his life or something. Mm -mm. Bad. What was the final? N not that. Not that all women can't throw a baseball. The hardest, the hardest stress he ever put on his wrist was trying to fan himself in that, in that hot, hot Louisiana heat. Said, "Oh, somebody, please bring me a sweet iced tea, but could you please use Splenda, because I've been trying to watch my waistline." Oh my God. I think story. this whole time we've been seeing TJ's impersonation of just a straight guy, and we're actually now seeing the real TJ. He's too good at that. He's he's fucking got it down. Draw them. If it is it the, is it not making it on yeah. the main debate stage? You think? I think I did a, a good job in the last debate. You were you were widely seen as dominating and well, being the winner of the undercard debate. I've heard that said before, but you just can't punch through when you've got a two tiered system. I just don't see a way for me to get on the main stage in time to make a difference. You often talk about the men and women in the military yeah. that you meet yeah. in your travels that yeah. you've served with. Yeah. And you say you are there to fight for them. You're the one that is running that will fight the most for them. It's is not, there anyone left in the race that you trust, well, I think Senator, to some, fight some, for them? Really, I think Jeb and Marco get it. I think uh, I think everybody loves the military. It's not that I care about them more than anybody else. I just think I understand their world, and they truly want to win. Let me give you a story that kind of just caps it all off for me. There was a um, <laughs> lieutenant commander, Philip Murphy Sweet. It just, what, are you, what are you laughing at? Hey, he's going to give you a little story here where it just caps the ride all off for him. That's what I was tell you laughing a story at. about this lieutenant commander, okay? You see, this lieutenant commander, he believed in Jesus. And I mean hard. I mean, you know how hard I'm talking? I mean, like, <laughs> like Jesus Christ, so fucking hard. Oh, I'm was sorry. He, Is was it getting he, hot in here? <laughs> was he burly? Was he a big guy? Oh, he was. He was just like that octopus fella, big lumbosexual. I just couldn't. <laughs> God damn. He uh, was an engineer, and it was his job to take an Iraqi army base and turn it into a rule of law center, and really one of the worst parts of Baghdad. So they were going to dedicate the courtroom um, while I was there. So I flew over with Colonel Martin, who was my boss. He's uh, Petraeus' legal advisor. And we took a tour of the facilities with a... Uh... Is this going to get good at some point? Because it's like a 10 and a half minute video. Why don't you skip forward? Because I think he like almost comes to tears at a couple points. I thought he was going to... Oh, man. Me and uh, Michelle were in the, our Skype chat. Whenever that last debate was going on, we were going back and forth about he's about to cry. But they Let's kept cutting him off right before he did. I think I sent you two Lindsey Graham ones. See this one or a different one where he like starts tearing up. He kind of looks teary. When his Republicans put a uh, cry, you bastard! <laughs> yeah, it just goes on and on and on. We we went to the cafeteria and they had ham sandwiches that day, and they were delicious. Look at I'll that lady! And look at the lady's I face. Asked if I could have an extra packet or two of the mustard, and they said, "Well." I don't see why not. It was the best day ever. <laughs> yeah. One liner. <laughs> yeah. I showed that you can grow up in the back of the liquor store and even run for president of the United States. <laughs> that, was a, that was a perfect spot to pull up to. <laughs> you grew up in the back of the liquor store. <laughs> Where the fuck did he Look at the look on his face like he's really making a deep point right here. Dude, that is so fucking what? hilarious, man, because it's like, what what did we miss of the backstory? And he's like, you know, it's almost like you're like digging through and, he, and he'll be like, well, and that's the first time I had crabs. It's like, well, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I like Just scrub. I like how the GOP is full of these filthy rich assholes who are so desperate to try to sound like one of the good old boys. <laughs> I grew up in the back of the liquor store. 
<laughs> oh, damn. Like Lindsey Graham is not too shabby, Dark Matter. You should do some more of that. Let's do a Lindsey Graham video. <clears throat> Lindsey Graham versus Donald Trump, all right? And we'll uh, we'll make we'll have Jesus supporting Lindsey Graham because he's well, he's just so much more peaceful. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to see if we had another Lindsey Graham. I, I'm pretty sure I sent you a second one. Trump, Trump, Cruz, Cruz, Trump, Carson. God damn it! I don't see it. You need to start making sure all these videos go to the right goddamn files. They're all in the right goddamn file. This is all the shit you sent. Had one. Scroll down a little bit. I swear to God, that fucker cried. I know I sent <laughs> you the video. He was like right on the verge of tears. Okay, well, how about we just go with the uh, how about we go with the speaker at Trump rally one. This one is it possible to get a Pat Robertson icon <laughs> where it doesn't look like he's taking a dump? <laughs> Dude, we got some really good ones lined up for the last hour, man. Oh yeah, I've been I've been giving Drew fucking gold. But one of the people. Whoa, sorry, go ahead. Said, it, said I've been giving you gold, sir, gold, and this is one of them. This. This is the one I just told you to do, the speaker. Dude, this guy makes absolutely no sense, and we will, we will spend the rest of this fucking hour picking apart what he fucking says. I got to know, and he's a friend of mine, and he had a horrible thing happen. His son, Jameel Shaw, you may have seen him, he's just been amazing. And whenever he's around, I say, do me a favor, say a few words, he'll explain what happened with an illegal immigrant who killed his son viciously and violently and he's become a friend of mine and he's a great guy and he's here with us and let me bring him up. Jamil, come on up. And they had to put that fucking Trump plane in the back. Of course. He has his own fucking airline, from my understanding. Anyway, look, um, so... I'm not like gonna count the black people in the audience or whatever, but it looks like mostly old white people to me. Yeah, I imagine that. A lot of cotton tops. Yeah, and so uh, I mean, not that that's a major thing, but it is a thing to to point out. Um, now, what he's going to say here is what we should really focus on. Say a few words, Jamil. Hello, everybody. Um, I'll get right to the point. Um, in March the second. He's bold. Very. I would just like to add um, that Trump makes it about the whatever issue he's he's talking about, like the lowest common denominator, like the guy that murdered his son. It was an illegal immigrant, right? Mm. If it were, you know, like a, if it was a Muslim, he'd be going. Having it's a it's a Muslim. Sin. If he's atheist, you know that. Like I, I'm all these different things. I have all these different labels. But if if people found out I was an atheist, then that would be atheist yeah. murder. So and so. That's the, but that's the way it goes. That that's not just this guy. That's like the media in general. We we love those labels. The labels matter very much. Individuality matters very little. Uh, to a lot of people, I, I guess I, I still appreciate it. I, I I always give everyone a fucking chance, and you have to fuck that up in order for me to not like you. I'm not just going to pick one of these labels. Like I have friends that are um, that are Christian that say shit that they know they know that I'll say something back. They post something on Facebook, and they know I'm their friend. They know I'll fucking comment, but. We respect each other enough and we get past it and we, you know, it's not something that we just have to focus on constantly and hate each other over. It's just disagreements. But you just know that, like, I'm not that, that type that'll just sit there and, like, nod my head while I fucking disagree with you. I'll fucking tell you that I disagree with you. This guy, this guy right here, though, I, we're, we, you need to just play, like, a solid 30 seconds and get a, get a whiff of what he's trying to sell. <laughs> 2008, my son was shot dead in the street like a dog by an illegal alien gangbanger, 18th Street gangbanger. He was on his third gun charge. Now, we hear all these gun uh, people talking about um, banning guns, but you have a legal alien where on his third gun charge, never been deported, and the guy shot him through his hand into his head and killed him. 
It was it was vicious. I heard the gun. Okay. What, he he's saying like they talk about banning guns, but this he's on his third gun charge. Well, well, yeah. That that sounds like like the restrictions, like the kind of restrictions and regulations that would have helped that. That like after your fucking like first gun charge, you're in fucking like bigger trouble, and you don't get to your third fucking gun charge, right. especially without being deported if you're illegal. The, sure, that's a fucking issue, but I, well, at least like if you're uh, illegal and committing crimes and getting processed and then returned out into the fucking street to do it over and over and over again, sure, that's a fucking problem. But that's not like uh, he's he's not against guns. He's against the fucking regulations. So well, I don't know what his solution is to fucking fix that. Well, here's here's something that I don't understand because you know I hear these kinds of uh, stories from time to time. How does someone? How is someone an illegal uh, immigrant comes into the country, does something like this, gets busted by the cops, and they don't get deported? How does that work? Um, they have, first of all, they have uh, shitty police work. Sometimes there's fake uh, social security numbers, stuff like that. Mm. Um, they have excuses. Um, I mean, you could always say that you're on vacation or some shit like that. Um, uh, it's, it's a lot harder to check for visas and shit. I mean, it's getting easier, obviously, but a lot of, a lot of places don't fucking check. Plus it's a major pain in the ass, um, to actually deport people, especially from like, let's say Florida. I'm sure it's easier if you're right on the border or whatever, but. You know, I, for me, I think if we just made it easier to become a legal immigrant, we'd get a lot less illegal immigrants. And, you know, it doesn't have to be like super fucking easy, but it doesn't it sh just shouldn't be fucking impossible uh, or, or, you know, asking more of them to know about the country than even fucking Americans know in the first place. You know, and most Americans can't pass the fucking test that they they ask. Right, I, I've taken I've taken that test before, and I could guarantee you, from what I know of the average American, they wouldn't pass it. But <laughs> I have a lot of respect for fucking immigrants. Um, to be quite honest with you, I, I don't see any reason why it should be frowned upon that someone wanted better for themselves or their family and came to a place where they thought they had the best opportunity to do so. And as long as they are not trying to force any kind of bullshit, and that includes like old blue laws from Christianity or Sharia laws from fucking Islam or any of that kind of shit. You keep all that shit to yourself and we'll get along just fucking fine. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. It's, uh, I have absolutely no problem with legal immigration, but I can understand what people's beats are with illegal immigration. Uh, yeah, I mean, but, but the reason we have so much illegal immigration is because it's not easier to be legal. Right, and, and I, I do, I think that's Keep That's in mind that while well. while people are going through the process, which could take like let's say like five years or so, they're they're paying taxes, they're on the books paying taxes and shit, and they're not getting any of the benefits. And then maybe when they become citizens, they only get a fraction of the fucking benefits because they haven't been paying it, or or they only get the benefits from the time they become citizens forward. You understand? Like we we make it, it doesn't have to be retarded. Like. Like, come here and just, like, pop out a bunch of kids and we'll take care of everybody. That's not what I'm fucking, you know, that's yeah. not, I don't think anyone's saying that. But at the same time, to uh, to claim to be, like, the bastion of freedom uh, of all this bullshit and then still have people wanting to, like, Trump here wanting to ban all fucking Muslims. Mm. I think that's a load of fucking bullshit. Yeah. It, you, you, to, to make America great again by destroying the fucking idea of America. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. Princess, Someone, of course. I oh, good, good. Uh, Cinderella man posted in the chat uh, evidence of Trump uh, colluding with uh, Putin. Oh god, colluding with dude. They they're almost in bed with each other. Literally, they've been stroking each other for a few days now. Yeah, you might want to check the picture. Oh Jesus! I was warned not to click these links. I'm doing it anyways. Oh God! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wish I could say thank you for that, but uh, I can't. Oh God, the Trump. I face, ran off. Though he makes that face all the time. Sign up. 
I couldn't believe I, it. Even hey, today. I, what would you call it? What, when, when Trump does that, what would you call that, Drew? What? Puckering? Oh, no, no. I, I think I call it sissy lips. <laughs> he's a, uh, a Bring slutty. It back. He's, a, he's a real slutty wad, that guy. Slut wad. What was Slut. I again? Cock, cock bag? Cock waffle. Cock waffle. It's even better. I couldn't believe it. I remember telling him, man, I told you this people are crazy out there. I had just told him the day before. And you Can know, I, just I say that um, the guy at the podium right now, I freaking loved him in Predator. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, that is so. <laughs> what? Well, because he's black? There was a black guy in Predator? So this guy. <laughs> yeah, holy racist, shit. Bro. Dude, oh, you man. knew what you were in for there. I got to double no. you up. Dude, no, he's no. It's not just. It's he's bald, and it's his particular shade. Come on, everybody knows what I'm talking about. All I heard was nobody knows the Merkins I've worn. Nobody knows the sorrow. Look at. I want everyone in the chat to see all the everything they've done to me. <laughs> Look at all the things they've done to me right now. All right, all right. <laughs> let's bullshit. Uh, let's see. What, uh, cause, cause he, he totally seems to disagree with himself within this, like, two minute talk. Kids don't believe that, you know, and that's why we need Donald Trump, because Donald Trump is gonna make it safe again, you know? <laughs> Donald Trump, Donald Trump is gonna make it safe for your kid. My son is dead. I can't fix that. I wish I could. But I have a, another son, 17 years old. He was eight at the time. Now he's 17. I saw him the other day. Man, you know you're older than your brother now? You know, and it's really sad. And Trump is the only person that reached out to me out of all the politicians, all the black politicians in L.A. Nobody cares. It's all about illegal aliens. That's all they care about. They don't care about us as Americans. Trump wants to make America first. Okay? We need that. He was just bitching about illegal aliens. And then now yeah. he's like, and then all the politicians that I disagree with, all they care about is illegal aliens. And I, Bill, well, I think what he means, I think he poorly worded it. Well, what he means is that they care for more for the illegal aliens than for the Americans. Jesus Christ. Okay. I like the, the sign in the back whenever it waves. The T is like missing on it, so it just says Rome. <laughs> like, wait, I want to. I want to ask. The, these are like the Christians, right? The the conservatives and Republicans. They're they're the Christians, right? The hardcore Christians, and, mm -hmm. and they are. What are they saying? That like when an illegal alien shows up to the ER injured, you should turn them away. Like Jesus, some would of them. Come. Some yeah, of them would. I mean, what? Cruz what, would. Huh? Cru I mean, Cruz would say to turn them away in the ER. Yeah. That is, I mean, uh, Ron that's, Paul? Not, that's not even, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even think Jesus is real, but I think some of his, you know, you could still take some of his teachings and learn something from him. And I, I think I've probably learned more from Jesus as an atheist than these fucking Christians have, which is really fucking sad. I care more about my fellow man and I feel for this guy losing his son, but Jesus, you, you think Donald Trump is going to make your fucking kids safe somehow. I mean, you're, you're, it's delusional, and if it's not delusional, it's stupid. Because anyone cheering for this is just like, uh, do, should, should, do I clap now? Like, I, I don't, I'm too fucking dumb to decide when, when I agree and when I boo and shit like that. Did he say Islam? Boo. <laughs> uh, did he say, like, gun control? Boo. Did they say, I'm going to do the best to make your head spin? Yay. <laughs> It, th these are these are people that are mouth breathing fucking morons, unfortunately, and and uh, there are a lot of them, a lot of them. Our kids, all of our kids, deserve to grow up. This is our time to live on the earth. Why do we have to be under this oppression from illegal aliens and they're getting the American dream and we're getting the American nightmare? You know, it's not fair, and the only way we. Uh, what? It makes no. It, there's only a few, little bit left. Let's just hear it out before we demolish. Can it. fix it is with Donald Trump. I don't see no other way. If it was there, it would have happened before Trump. It was nothing going on. Now that he's here, they're scared, and we have to make sure it happens because it's going to protect all of us and make us safe. And we got to stand with Trump, and you have to trust him the way I do because I believe that he was sent from God. Thank you.
<laughs> I- icing on yeah. the bat shit cake. <laughs> Thanks, God. And he got a, he, he gets a fucking applause and cheers. That's what I'm talking about when I say mouth breathing morons. Like that's all it takes. It's these same people that that like think God helped them score a touchdown and shit. Like they're all that's all on the same level as far as I'm concerned. And they call themselves so, that they'll call you like conceited for being an atheist. Like, oh, you just don't want to have anyone to answer to. But no, I call it conceited when you think that when you lose your keys and you go, oh Jesus, please help me find these keys, and then you find them. Like, you know that that to me is. It, it's disturbing or or people praying for their loved ones to get better or their kids to get better instead of taking them to the fucking doctor. Yeah, that's just dangerous. That shit is fucking dangerous. And having people that don't want to teach evolution in school because it disagrees with their religious views and, and they think that trumps science and shit. Fuck that. That shit is detra fucking mental. All of it. And it all needs to be addressed. You want to keep it to yourself? Go for it. You want to fucking spread it around to everybody? Do it on your own fucking time, not the fucking government's dime. TJ calling it. Turn it like it is. That's yeah. right. I've, I've, I've had to... I've, I have more <clears throat> people in my Facebook friends list that are conservative than I fucking do, and I have to constantly like put them in check. Yeah, I know what that's like. My entire fucking family is conservative. Dude, there's a lot of like right-leaning liberals now, and it's that shit's starting to piss me off too. Well, it, it depends, man. On on certain issues, I I would say I'm more right-leaning. Once than I left. Just start agreeing with too many fucking stupid right-wingers, I start to question my fucking. I, I have to look at it deeper. Right, but it's <laughs> still, it still depends. Like, on the if issue, I'm agreeing so. with Pat Robertson on something, I'm like, well, ah. like wait a second. I mean, if he's saying the sky is blue, that's one thing. But if he's talking fucking politics and I'm agreeing with him, I need to fucking make sure that I'm. I'm doing the right thing here because 99% of the time what he says is fucking retarded. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth thinking about. I mean, but I, I don't I don't want to get into that mindset that just because, you know, for instance, Bill O'Reilly says something, it's automatically wrong or... No, you, you, know. can, you, can, you can definitely agree with people, but when people are well known for saying stupid shit, when you agree with them, you have to make sure it's for a good reason. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, because, uh, you know, when... when when Bill O'Reilly has shit, said shit like, you don't know how the fucking tides work. Yeah. N from now on, every time I agree with him, it's I'm going to take that into consideration. Yeah. Every it's... fucking time. Yeah. You got to, you're goddamn right. Bill O'Reilly tells me that, you know, the sky is blue and there's a good chance I'm going to look up and check because I don't, <laughs> I don't trust the fucker. Um, we are at, we are at break time again. Oh, wonderful. I told you we would fucking get through on that video. Champ, I called it right to the fucking he minute. Did. He did. Kids on point tonight. I'm proud of him. Ah, uh, I, I, uh, I love this show. I got to tell you guys. And uh, big, big thanks. Drew has been running it. And quite honestly, my internet has not been that bad lately. Uh, knock on wood. Dark Matter, you've been awesome. Um, and, and last and video, by bold. the way, your last video was very good. I didn't get to watch it right away. When it came out, I've been very busy, but uh, I was first. Well, I'm I'm sure everyone loves it, but I I want you to know that uh, you know I watch all your shit, and we we support you individually and through the podcast and everything. Mm. We love you to death, and uh, I'm more than happy to to throw you a few bones every time you come up with something awesome like that. I appreciate it. Oh oh man, damn! I was gonna tell Dark Matter that. Uh, I had posted that thing to to, to Twitter. It was uh, Hamant uh, Meta or whatever, the friendly atheist. He had shared like your video and stuff, and I was reading some of the comments on it. And uh, some of the comments that were on the the Facebook page were like were something to the effect of like, "Why is it always presumed that God is a man? It is such a male perspective that God would be a man." And I'm like, "You understand, dark matter does not believe in the sky, right?" Yeah, I mean, he's and just like mad because even if you believe in the fake, or if, even if you're trying to tell a story from the perspective of other people that believe, it would still be a guy. Yeah, yeah, it's Yahweh. He's an actual character. Who is it's a Yahweh? Yeah, not Yahwehnya. Oh right? God, <laughs> Jesus! Not the black, the black God, <laughs> Yahwehnya. Yahwehnya. That's racist. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's time to go to break. We will, we will be back.
Boonderbaugh. Yeah. That's good. I would never have the patience to do that shit with my house. <laughs> Hell no. I mean, you, the the uh, amount of money that that probably costs. Yeah, and then you have to, like, do all the timing and shit. Fuck that. That's I've first seen some pretty badass bullshit. ones with, like, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Set to actually that music that I played in the uh, pre-show. Hmm. Dark Matter? It's uh, just creating chores for yourself, so I won't abide by it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and not, and having a lotus isn't. <laughs> Might as well have a large saltwater fish tank, because that's like a fucking part-time job, too. Saltwater fish tank. Dude, saltwater fish tanks are a bitch to keep up. I have my... Uh, I have my fresh water over here. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's like a 30 gallon. It's not bad. My Pleco is getting too fucking big. My algae eater. He's he's a beast. I got him for a buck when he was like this big and now he's fucking getting too damn big for the tank, but he keeps it clean as fuck. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, well, it's good, but they can grow up to two feet. So once he gets too big, I'm going to have to like release him in the retention pond behind the uh behind the grocery store up the road <laughs> there, well I'm, i've seen them in there i've seen big old big plecos in there and they're tough man they can you can put them in it you know slowly introduce them into the new and uh new water the new environment and he'll take there's plenty of algae there he'll get big yeah missy says put him in the bathtub no <laughs> I, I need to use the bathtub i doubt that not, well, not from the look <laughs> of that shirt <laughs> it can also use a good cleaning though so yeah yeah <laughs> put him in there let him clean it up you know <laughs> um give away give it away oh fuck man you're killing me with this give you it keep away, me give it away give i don't away like now. doing this anymore well then don't do it you don't have to do it keep giving shit away if you, you want to be a fucking scrooge right here before christmas uh, this oh. is Fine. this is the last time we're going to talk to a lot of All these right. people christmas you say christmas I've got two different styles of playing cards here. They're they're two totally different themed cards uh, decks of playing cards. If you can tell me either one, and I know this is really throwing it out there, I'll give you hints. But either either style, <clears throat> one of them is a brand, and the other one's a a show. Put it that way. All right, go. You guys got to fucking. Well, help. if it's a show, then everybody knows what it is. No, it's. I don't think everyone does know. Yeah. Speaking of that, I saw that pop up in the chat. Nope, 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 nope. What do you think about getting this, like, right here? <laughs> I want you to sew that onto a shirt that you, or a hat, or something Fuck that you wear. Oh, no. Wait, I want you to wear it at the trip. I'm trying to keep track here. Um, Chicks with dicks is not correct, but Joe wishes. But you, they, if Joe is giving it away, that's what you get. I don't think anyone's going to get it. Um, I'll give hints here. Okay. <clears throat> it's an alcohol brand. That's the first first hint I'll give. Uh, there's two decks you get here, and there's no, they're, they're not in perfect condition. Been, they've been played, but they're two pretty, like, one of them's a collector's <clears throat> thing, so. Is it Heineken? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep up with it now. Oh, just, Zima? No, no, no. Zima. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Great Behemoth. Great Behemoth. Um, Jack, Jack Daniels. Daniels. Jack Daniels. Nice. All right, so there's the Jack Daniels playing card set. Like I said, it's mm -hmm. not new or anything but uh it's a two card deal or a two pack deal so you also get this do ho ho <laughs> simpsons collectors. uh and and oh, that is a uh, it's an actual collector playing card so there you go congratulations great behemoth i will write that down now before i fucking forget and have to watch this episode to remember hey we'll do another one who wants to win this anybody 
please? Nobody? Dark Matter, you could use one of these. I don't know that I would. No, you, you're going to sew that onto a piece of clothing and wear it. I've got like a sleeveless like button down, you know, with a collar that's black. Dude, you and put I'm, it right over. Yeah, dude, I am not patching that shit. Dude, I swear to God, please. Because all- <laughs> you're please, please, please do it. That would make a my fucking corn trip. patch. Like, I'm like, hey Drew, what are you wearing today? Are you gonna wear that corn shirt? <laughs> yeah. You gonna wear that corn shirt? I got I, that patch. I, I really. I'll tell you what. You sew that. Here's the deal. You sew that onto a shirt. And every time you wear that shirt out, like, and it's not underneath a sweatshirt or anything, it's like the thing showing. I'll pay for all your drinks. All my drinks? All your drinks. I'll probably get my ass wear- kicked wearing a corn no, patch. While you're wearing the shirt. While I'll pay for all the drinks you drink while you're wearing that shirt. All right. That's, that's a deal. It's a deal. It's a it's what? A it's a deal. All right. <laughs> I was, I was going to say it should dick. be a deal, but yeah, a deal will work. Right. So you pay, you pay for like hundreds of drinks and get a pickle back in return. Yep. Okay. All right. How how about this? Uh, we got a merkin for this guy, and we got bars for this guy. I what the hell did hey, I? Isn't did isn't I that your favorite band, Drew? Pickleback. Hey man, wait a second. This is a raw dill. <laughs> Dark man, did you think I can't fuck your night up or something? I've got so much <laughs> shit I could throw at you here. God damn it. Oh, he's going to get that Merkin. <laughs> he's, he's aiming for the Merkin. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get into some derp here. Yeah, I am getting a raw dill. This is the raw dill, bro. I don't say it like that. Jesus. Not happy about this mill. Man, you, you really get into the L's. <laughs> the, yeah, it's because it's, you... you Fucking like for you forget E's like Joe forgets G's. No, it's not forgetting E's. It's just still That's just you, how the you just like I, 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 okay. I, <clears throat> like like what's that long kind of fish in the ocean? There's like a moray kind. What are those? An ill. Ill. <laughs> Dude, he's not talking about getting sick. Uh, just throw guys... the fucking bars on me for no reason. <laughs> uh, because I, I know that's fits. where they're going to end up. God damn, that's great. Um, yeah. Do Do you have, by any chance, the Sarah Palin stuff I sent you? I have. I saw one in here earlier. Um, the one that where one. she talks about atheists. Yes. I would really love to cover that one. Yeah. All right. There's a certain part of this one where you're gonna have to. Pause. You might know when. You might know when, but when you hear it. Let's see. Written a brand new book. Yes. It's a daily devotional. Yes. I'm halfway through. It's a pretty Bless your heart. It's a pretty political devotional, right? A lot of intertwining of faith and politics. Real Imagine that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can you go back just a half a second here? And politics. Real world stuff. Yep. Real, yep. real world. Real world stuff. Drew. So mm-hmm. I, I noticed after watching this video that that's who you sound like. I did not sound like Sarah fucking you sound Palin. like fucking Sarah. But real world. Real world. It's the real world. Yo, it's the real deal. I think uh, it's very important that people of faith or, or atheists, anybody who would be looking for answers today, the best place to go to look for answers that deal with personal problems and wait, political wait, 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 problems. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, clear as day. Go back. Clear as day. She said, "Dill like a Dill. motherfucker." To go to look for answers that deal with personal problems and. Yup. The lady says God it right. Drew sounds like Sarah fucking. She Palin. says it right. What can I tell you? Drew's long lost mother has been found. <laughs> and I, I, oh I tested this the other day because I catch so much shit for saying the words correctly. That uh, I tested this the other day with a bunch of my friends and family members, like at work and at at my mom's house and and everything. And everybody says it the way I do. Yeah. So I'm not friends just retarded. And stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Are they also all Palins, just like you? Oh my god! Somebody, somebody said Drew say betcha. <laughs> you, <laughs> you betcha, Drew. Drew betcha. <laughs> <laughs> Political problems that our world, certainly that our nation is facing, 
it's already spelled out for us the answers in the Old and the New Testament. So I just wanted to direct people to where they can look, find that answer, and then be at peace and be able to live life vibrantly without worrying so much about what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What Stop an idiot. About all this stuff that's going on. What an idiot Everything with excellent all vocabulary. All these people behind her are about to talk about. Yeah, like somebody that wants to run for president. Don't worry about all this stuff. I mean, she's like, at peace, bro. She's she she, it, she would look at that face she's making right there. Just don't just worry. Go. Just just look at this book that was written thousands of years ago to all your problems for you see, today. You yes, see, buy my book where it's uh -huh. a devotional, a political devotional where you intertwine faith and politics because it's all in there in the Old Testament, really. Yeah. But, and and we're we're doing a sale this Christmas. Get yourself a good deal. A good, it's a good deal. Um, yeah. Now, if uh, if if it ends up like any of my other books, it'll end up at Goodwill, but it'll still be <laughs> a good deal at Goodwill. You got it. You done? You got it all out of your systems? We good? Can we can we move on with the video? Thank you. A final question. This is the gotcha question. So all right. I'm warning you. All right. Could Sarah Palin, could Governor Palin vote for an atheist who you believed had a moral compass? Maybe not a moral compass grounded in scripture, oh but a person who don't have moral compasses, you bald fuck no, no, no. with. You, you misheard him. It's a moral compass. This guy can't pronounce shit just like fucking Palin or Drew, for Christ's sake. A compass? It's a compass. It's like... It's like taking a number three and a number one at this, you know, one after another. It's a compass. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, Misty. Thanks for pointing out her hair. She looks like the Queen Alien. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> dude, just, uh, get well, away from him, you bitch! <laughs> you know what's even better is the stupid interviewer. He's bald. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking contrast! Look at these two. <laughs> Jesus he looks Christ. more like Sigourney Weaver, and she looks more like the fucking alien. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone, find a loader quick! Oh, for fuck's sake, dude, is that? Oh, I guess that's her earring. That almost <laughs> looks like she had like spacers in her fucking. Yeah, ear. she's wearing a set of Anitas. <laughs> the Anitas, the hoops. Yeah. <laughs> so, so look, I, you know, I'm a straight arrow. I lead my life according to a moral code. It just doesn't have to be biblically based. Um, well, you know, I, I oof, gosh, if uh, if it all came down um, to that versus someone who believed in a religion that was hell bent on um, destroying to those. Talk. I know. God. <laughs> When we, she's not, when she hasn't planned what she's gonna say. I mean, I'm not much better, but Jesus, listen to her. When no, um, no. you have a religion. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's on a different level. Like at least we're stringing together sentences. I, at least dark matter. You're you're sober, so when you say shit, you don't have an excuse. Drew at least drinks, so he has that to rely on as an excuse. I, on the other hand, just get absolutely like plastered every fucking show so i i on the other hand have an excuse for everything i make sure i'm good and toasted before i do anything online one of my yeah. best videos one of my best videos the uh the reply to i hate religion but love jesus that like poetry mm -hmm. uh response yeah. i did dude if you watch that video i am like my eyes are closing I can't even keep them open. I am so trash. And by the end, because I'm like drinking while I'm making the video too. And I didn't even decide to make it like a rhyming video until I'd already started recording. And it just kind of turned out that way. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go with it. And I was, it was one of my best videos. And you can see my eyes closing behind my sunglasses. Like <laughs> as I, as I'm trying to stumble out this fucking poetry. <laughs> and then I edited it drunk and fucking uploaded it and everyone fucking loved it. And I was like, I'm going to get drunk every time I go online. And I thought you kind of sounded a little bit like a sloth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just groans, can't even talk. Who didn't agree with their religion, who would literally want to kill those, the infidels, who would not say, okay, I'll go along with you, you know, then, then I would, which means 
um, anybody who is uh, uh, any, in any way sympathetic to what's going on today, Muslim terrorists who would crucify children and behead women and stop at nothing to try to destroy us and Israel and, and our allies, uh, I'd choose an atheist over that. Okay, Sarah, honestly, who the fuck would not choose? I, I'm trying to think of what would be somebody that I would choose that type of Muslim over what other kind of person could I possibly think of? Dude, she, no. She's basically what? making it like uh, she would choose an atheist that wouldn't fucking kill her over another religious person who has taken their religion uh, more seriously and, by the way, mixed it with their fucking politics the same way she is doing with her new fucking devotional book here that she's promoting right now, trying to yeah. mix fucking religion and politics, the same problem that has been caused by doing that. She is now speaking out against and saying, well, I guess no religion is better than like taking religion too far. Well, thanks. That's the point we've been trying to fucking make for a long time. Dude, it, I'd, it, be good, good. I'd, I'd be really interested to know how she thinks atheists behave. Well, pretty much from what she's saying, I, I, I guess it's just because she really doesn't like atheists or whatever. But basically, if it's between Dark Matter and Jihadi John, Dark Matter is going to get the job over Jihadi John. But like the way yes. she makes it sound is like, it's still pretty fucking close. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, like the guy's like over there slitting throats and shit like that, as opposed to this dude that makes cartoons. Or, you know, and she's saying that they have to already be a, like a different kind of atheist. You know, that they have to be that kind that, that will put up with stupid bitches like her. Look at the look, smug look on her fucking face right now. Like, she's got all this shit figured out. Well, you know, the only thing you got figured out is how to pander to a bunch of morons uh, who, who don't understand things like nuance. Uh, they mm -hmm. don't understand, like, fucking deeper arguments at all. They're totally fucking anyone, anyone that can still be supporting or listening to what Sarah fucking Palin is saying is is fucking too far fucking gone and it isn't worth the fucking time of day. Um, they're probably out there favoriting videos of about fucking the earth being flat. A Avo said Avo just said dill baby dill. <laughs> Smart ass. I tell you though, if I if somehow tomorrow I get uh unanimously la baba some, oh, somehow, come on, sober guy. Somehow tomorrow I become king of the world. Whatever I say goes. <clears throat> this ditz is still going to be able to practice her fucking religion. You know, I'm not going to uh, let alone cut anyone's head off because of it. I mean, how? What? What the fuck? How bad does she think atheists are? I mean, doesn't she know that like? How many people are atheists? There's like a billion atheists in the well, world. She, she doesn't. She doesn't like us because she thinks this is. An, I've heard her. I don't know how many times make the argument this is a Christian nation, and so that she thinks we're denying what we like, what the nation is by saying it's not a Christian nation and shit like that. We she don't just, get it. Just, she's that that type <clears throat> of person that if someone in her fucking neighborhood did the zombie Jesus nativity, she would be trying to find them five hundred bucks a day just like they did wherever the fuck it was. I think it was Kentucky or some shit. Oh, where that guy was like balls deep in that Jesus statue or whatever? Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about they, this dude did a nativity scene, but with zombies. Oh, okay. oh, That's right, right. Nativity scene, and uh, they the town t told him to take it down or get, or get fined 500 bucks a day. You see what you guys have fucking done here? I got a goddamn drunken Irish prick in in the chat over here making fun of the way I talk. And he's fucking Irish. Angry Pumpkin. Angry <laughs> Pumpkin says, I wonder if my drug dealer has some stuff for me. By the way, Angry Pumpkin, I, I have a message for you from Redline, uh, who I met uh, the other night. Uh, it was pretty cool. We didn't drink, so we didn't get to get shit faced together. But I got shit housed by, by myself while we shot the shit. And uh, he wanted me to call you a cunt, so fuck you, you stupid cunt, Angry Pumpkin. Cunt. That wasn't for me, though. <laughs> it's that not, wasn't it's, me saying it. I'm just don't kill the messenger, all right? He's saying it's not fucked up. It wasn't me. <clears throat> You're voting for an atheist over an ISIS supporter. I got you. Oh, that, okay, I gosh. got you that far. You, darn it, you made it too simple. And uh, yeah, Governor, but, yeah. thanks. Thank Best you of luck. so nice, much. Nice to be with you. So there you go. So if if it if it's a a toss up between, like I say, you know, 
a fucking ISIS member. But, and no, 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 no. Don't talk wait, too bad wait, about. Wait. Don't Go talk on. too bad about Sarah Palin. Look at how she's reaching across the aisle and joining hands with this bald man. Uh, she's. She's clearly not the bigot that we think she is. People that follow Sarah Palin also think Obama's a Muslim, right? So I guess we already got a Muslim in the White House, so it would be better to replace him with an atheist. Bam, problem solved, stupid bitch. You know, I don't – the sad thing is is I don't see Trump as being, you know, actually religious. I think that's just a load of bullshit. Dude, he certainly doesn't understand how fucking the Constitution works. That's like something he is not aware of. If he thinks he can just fucking go banning Muslims and shit. Well, to to be fair, he's and I disagree with what he wants to do, but he wants to ban Muslims from immigrating. And my understanding is technically that is legal because they're not citizens. Now it's retarded and it's fucked up and it completely shits on the concept of freedom of religion. But technically, okay. So so uh, a Muslim guy is here and he's a. Uh, fucking citizen and he wants to bring his fucking family over yeah un under that under that uh policy his family wouldn't be able to come over exactly so i mean and it's, that's, it's still not, a, that's it, not the fucking idea of america is the yeah. point look uh, the idea behind america is not one of of uh safety at all costs and shit like that that is not the idea behind fucking america it, you you want to talk about like freedoms and shit like that well yeah sometimes there's a price to pay we, we see it all the time with the fucking gun shit. You got the Second Amendment. Everyone gets to fucking have a gun. So now we see the result is fucking less safety when it comes to fucking like mass shootings and shit like that. Those are the prices you pay for these freedoms. And if you want to fucking regulate shit like we talk about regulating guns, that's fine. Regulate. But I'm not talking about banning guns. He's talking about banning Muslims. Drew, I guess you're talking about banning guns. Technically, I'm not talking about banning guns. Uh, you used to be more. I'm I'm in the I'm in the camp of like the the very bottom line most basic things you can do or do some of the things that we've talked about. I'm not in the camp of of Show like you know how to clean it and and you know how to yeah fucking dude I'm I'm not even I'm not even no, I'm not even sure. asking for that much. What I am against I am against the Second Amendment, but that doesn't necessarily mean I want to ban all guns. I think it's retarded that just because you're a citizen who hasn't committed a felony yet you have some right to get a firearm i think that's retarded yeah okay well we're on the same yeah. page there i i'm i'm just more for responsible gun ownership and quite honestly if you don't agree with that you're in favor of irresponsible gun ownership which is right. fucking retarded which so means, i don't see how you can even disagree with me which means you're a fucking terrorist you heard it here from tj i mean it's pretty fucking simple if you're against responsible fucking gun ownership you're for fucking irresponsible gun ownership <clears throat> That's retarded. Stop being stupid. Yeah. Moral of the story, stop being stupid. Let's hear this. People are fascinated with dinosaurs. From a very <laughs> young age, we are amazed by the... Let's let you know this is going to be good. Why, why does he have to be a fucking vault? He's practically bald. Let's face it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know... I'm convinced you guys like sift through these videos now <laughs> to find new. There can't be such a disproportionate it's, amount of bald is, fuckwits. It's not the case at all. It just it just happens to be that it does. all of the fucking stupidest people out there are bald. <laughs> all of them. You know what? I'm so glad that you join on the show so much, Dark Matter, because I would have never noticed that bald people were such unbelievable pieces of shit if you weren't here to point this out for us. So thank really? you. Really, really, R really, really. I can't. Thank I you. can't say it the way Drew does. It's really, really, really. really. You say really. you say the the word as it is. It's just part of like a drawl. Like how, how do you say this word? When you want to cook ramen, what do you do to the water to cook ramen? Boil, Boil it. All right, one at a time. Boil. Boil. It's bull. You boil the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is bull. <laughs> you do. You boil the water. <laughs> is it O in there? Dude? I know. I'm not making your fucking case at it's, all, bro. Dude, it's not. It, I don't say bull. It's bull. 
<laughs> I don't bull. say bull. I say bull. There's an <laughs> I in there. Where's the I in that word? Well, it's in there, but you see, it's just, I guess you just say it with a drawl, man. You don't go, boil. I love boil. it when foreigners try to teach me English. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. I've, I've got it. Now I've got a question for you, Drew. When you get like a giant uh, assist, you know, and you go to the doctor to pop it, and they call, what do they call it? A boil? A what? A boil. Oh, whoa. Now, now he can say it. Now he can say it. It's incredible. Amazing. You just have to spell it like like Hooked on Phonics worked for Drew. <laughs> Basically, you have to spell it B O Y L E. Boil. Boil. What do you what do you call the thing above your head? Not the walls or the floor, but the the light? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> The, Not the wall, thing, but the above your head, bro. But the the, the light hangs. Made out, it's made out of drywall. It, it's what the it's, ceiling. The what? Again? The ceiling. Ceiling. Is that what you're talking about? The ceiling. ceiling. <laughs> the ceiling? Are you talking about the ceiling, bro? Yeah. Go ahead one more time. The roof. <laughs> <laughs> the roof. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? The ceiling. It, all right, let's talk about these uh, dinosaurs before <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> these magnificent creatures. People are in awe of these awesome reptiles and questions abound. Where did these massive creatures come from? If they were in existence in the past, why is the Bible silent about them? Can I believe in the Bible and accept the existence that. of it's dinosaurs the as a fact. Lizards. What's up? Except because they didn't know about them, including the fact that they weren't lizards. Lizards. Damn, TJ is just stuffing his fucking face, man. God Rep damn. Reptile. Uh, Drew, Drew, reptile? Reptile? Reptile, okay. Pachycephalosaurus? Pachycephalosaurus? Okay. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Dilosaurus Rex. <laughs> Dilosaurus Rex. <laughs> Creation is rarely credited and often attacked in the media. How sad that society proclaims the need for open-mindedness, yet pulls down the curtain on creation while promoting evolution. One who holds the creation worldview is in the minority, and we often have a difficult time convincing. Uh, not much of a minority, according to the American polls. I mean, I haven't seen any recent ones in the past, you know, few years. But it was something to the effect of like forty percent of Americans believe in like a an Earth that is less than ten thousand years old. It's a new hip thing now to call yourself a minority because then you can claim the oppression card. Right. Even the people that aren't SJWs like try to get in on that. Yeah. I've actually heard of some like right right wing SJW types lately. It's pretty wow. crazy. I mean, when you think of it in that aspect, I mean, they they really are because you know the the uh, the the Christians that claim persecution and shit like that. Yeah. Like, oh well, in America, we're we're so persecuted, we got it so bad, and everything. And that's it's the same thing. In a way, they've been SJWing for decades. I think yeah, they started it. They, now someone else is finally doing it and everyone else is pointing it out. <laughs> seen others, this is the proper explanation. The creationist accepts the teaching of Genesis and teaches dinosaurs were created on day five, the day sea dwelling and flying creatures were created, and day six, the day land animals were created, according to Genesis chapter 1, verses 20 through 25. Humanity was created by God on day 6, according to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 27, and shared this world with the dinosaurs. All of these events took place approximately 6,000 years ago. If you read the Bible from cover to cover, you will not find the word dinosaur. However, just because you can't find the term dinosaur in the Bible, you shouldn't make the mistake of thinking the Bible has nothing to say about dinosaurs. Well, actually, I mean, even if, you know, even if, let's say, 
dinosaurs fell somewhere into, uh, you know, I guess God's plan or whatever, even if that were to happen, I mean, it's not ridiculous to think that the Bible wouldn't say anything about dinosaurs. Maybe the, maybe, you know, you could still argue that maybe God had known of course about dinosaurs and maybe even some people had known about dinosaurs and just never talked about it. I mean, you could still argue that. So, so how about argue me the point of why create dinosaurs just to have them go extinct? Why create 99% right. of the species just to have them fucking go extinct? Why save them? Cause he believes it's literal free will. Mm -hmm. Why save them on the fucking ark? For them to go extinct later free will free will you know, there's there's dozens of species that go extinct every single day prove it well i was at the museum <laughs> and they had a little sign with a counter oh, that yeah. kept ticking by C cite yeah citation needed dark matter <laughs> <laughs> the the museum of science and industry in chicago i mean i'm sorry the the field museum i'm sorry the natural History Museum in Chicago. Which one is it, man? Stop changing your story. The, yeah. natu the, the yeah. Natural History Museum. You see, Sporty, this is what atheists do. This is exactly what they do. Sporty. <laughs> Sporty Potamus Prime. The explanation is rather simple. The word dinosaur did not come into existence until the year 1842. I, I love the way he thinks he's teaching us all something. <laughs> like, yeah, we get where you're going with this, dumbass. We know they say behemoth in the Bible, and, you know, they were probably talking about a fucking elephant or a rhinoceros. That is over 200 years after the King James English translation of the Bible. Even though we will not find the word dinosaur in scripture, we can find several passages describing creatures that clearly fit our understanding of dinosaurs. In the book of Job, we read a behemoth. The Bible mentions a massive creature so large that by all accounts, the only plausible explanation is that we are... You, he, he, Dark Matter, you call behemoth. Now I'm going to call Leviathan. Uh, and I when he mentioned that one. when he mentioned Job, I thought he was going to say Leviathan. No, but, that's next. But like when you actually read that that in Job, I think it's like uh, chapter 39 in Job. It's like a fucking fire dragon. It's like <laughs> it literally it breathes fire from its mouth, and it's like uh, you know it dwells in the water and shit. You remember that one creationist who said that. Uh, the the atmosphere was getting thinner and dinosaurs needed more oxygen so they were breathing heavier and the friction caused fire to burst forth from their nostrils smoking and... from their nostrils oh my god <laughs> this is Christ. reading about a dinosaur most study bibles stay in the notes behemoth is most likely an elephant that is a colossal mistake the text Ooh. is very clear. Behemoth is much larger than an elephant. Like, really? The, the verse makes that really clear. By the way, <laughs> behemoth is much larger than an elephant. Okay, let's look up the verse and see how, how that's made so clear then. Wow. Like it's made so clear that they actually put that in like the, the footnote. Like, by the way, this probably means a fucking elephant. Yeah, it is. Way bigger than them fucking elephant things, man. Tell you what. In Job chapter 41. Also, Mountain Dew is the best soda ever. <laughs> God describes Leviathan to Job. There it is. Leviathan. Nailed it. Although the entire chapter gives the description, let us consider just a handful of the characteristics. Verse 9. Shall not one be cast down, even at the sight of him? Verse 14. His teeth are terrible round about. Verses 19 through 21. Out of his mouth go burning lamps, and sparks of fire leap out. Now, name me one fucking dinosaur that we were thinking, yeah, this son of a bitch breathed fucking fire. And lived with man. <laughs> here's Jesus. a human skull in the, in the fucking digestive tract 
of one of these dinosaurs. Dude, and that was another thing he said, and I saw you had a reaction to that, TJ, when he was like, oh, and his teeth are roundabout. Roundabout. It's like, like wow, they can only describe a dinosaur, right? What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> right. My, I guess my teeth are round about. <laughs> like, what, what the way? Or are they? Ra- is it a roundabout? Or are they round about? Or like, it doesn't even. It doesn't even make any sense. It's been translated so many times. It doesn't even make any sense. And he's he's quoting off these like five word like things out of the Bible. Like, gotcha, <laughs> nailed it, nailed that one. Like, the, you fucking moron. Apparently, this these verses mean much larger than an elephant obviously much larger than an elephant look at behemoth which i made along with you and which feeds on grass like an ox what strength what strength it has in its loins what power in the muscles of its belly its tail sways like cedar the sinews of its thighs are close-knit its bones are tubes of bronze its limbs like rods of iron and that's about it. It ranks it sounds first. Like te- it so sounds like campfire fucking storytelling. Yeah. <laughs> and, under and- the lotus, under the lotus plant, it lies hidden among the reeds in the marsh. Like, wait, what? Ha- what? What do you got under your lotus? <laughs> A behemoth, like, apparently. <laughs> well, the only thing that doesn't fit with an elephant is the the lumbering tail. The tail sways like cedar. That could just mean, you know, how if they flick away flies by, you know, swaying their tail back and forth. Obviously, no, it sounds like a sounds like a brontosaurus to me. Yeah, it sounds yeah, exactly. It sounds like more like that. Or but... or it could be like an alligator. Dude, think about this, this is these are the same books of the fucking Bible that says people live to like 900 years old. So I mean, <laughs> we're like we're taking I mean, what, what, I'm wondering what, what are their excuses for that? Noah was 600 when the flood started. He lived to be like 980 or some shit. Like, it, it, none of it none of it makes any fucking sense. And like I said, he saved a bunch of species that just eventually had to go extinct. Because we, even if you just look at the species we have today, that would not include all the species that Noah would have had to take on. There would have been other species like woolly mammoths and shit that have then gone extinct. When they talk about like, oh, the dinosaurs, dude, there's a fuckload of other species that have gone like... Over ninety nine percent of species that have ever existed are extinct. Yeah, it's a huge fucking number, and and way back with they like that we know that's happened. They want to say the Earth is six thousand years old, and then like no, the flood happened, and Noah did the ark shit like what four thousand years ago, and saved yeah. all the species we have now. Or wait a second, no, they, that that was the kinds, and then they believe in like super evolution where everything evolved to where it is now in four thousand years. <laughs> Like it just makes no fucking sense. What we ought to do is get a a super genius on the case here. All right. You know, I'm not a scientist or a, a, a whatever, but you know, I have well, that, read that, that blows that out of the water so much for this fucking super genius that Look reptiles that continue to grow until they die. Uh, yeah, uh, he's he's going bald. Still, I, yeah, I've heard that too. So you think about the pre-flood Earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got people living 969 years. No reason to doubt that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Do not (laughs) doubt this book. No reason to doubt it. Everybody I've ever known lived that long. What the hell, dude? He said that shit. He has like a smirk, though. Is he is he bullshitting or? (laughs) Methuselah, 969 years he lived. No, he is fucking serious. Oh my god. Of no reason to doubt is. that. No reason whatsoever. Didn't even skip a beat. A lot of people live for an entire fucking millennium. It don't matter. So longevity, obviously, for all living things, was much greater before the flood. So you think about a lizard. I mean, here's a lizard. It's not living a lizard, for you dumb fuck. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You got to hear yeah, this. Let him go. Let him go. Two hundred years. Yeah. What if you had this same lizard? Living, up for, living for a thousand years, right? Continuing to grow. Are, you imagine the size that he would be. Are you saying that maybe that's where dinosaurs came from? Yeah, I'm thinking that could be the explanation I, for dinosaurs. Uh, they yeah. were just like reptiles that just like grew makes for sense. a thousand years, kept growing, kept growing, yeah. kept growing. That makes sense. <laughs> there's the there's the sound. Yeah. It's like yeah, motherfucker, you that's just the Windows rebooting them. sound is what it should be for this dumb fucker. Oh my god. <laughs> ding ding ding. Holy fuck. 
it's dinosaurs were just lizards that kept growing. So basically, if you had a like any kind of like lizard around your house, right? If he lived for a thousand years, he'd just keep growing because that's how shit works. Yeah. He's like, did, you know, did, like, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Was Noah a giant because he lived to be nine hundred <laughs> years old? Is that how that shit works again? You fucking moron. Yeah, I mean, think about it, like anything growing. It no matter even how long it lives. Like, look at it, like a tortoise. A tortoise gets like its maximum size probably like. By what? When let's say before it's twenty or whatever. Actually, within the first third of uh, an animal's life, it has it reached its maximum. Yeah, it doesn't just continue to get bigger and bigger until it dies. Some species do, like you know, grow like uh, lizards for long, you know longer periods of time. But I mean, shit. In the in the longer, like um, giant uh, like sea clams or some shit. That that takes a long time for those to, yeah, to actually form and shit. That doesn't just happen overnight. But that doesn't mean they just keep growing and growing and growing, and they're gonna eventually like, God, it's like those YouTube videos where they like superimpose a, a giant fucking crab into like the water at a beach, and they're like massive crab found, and and you're like that's so fucking stupid and retarded. And then you look, and it's got like 11 million views. <laughs> like, uh, There's so many idiots in the world, is why. God damn it, man. Yep. Um, we'll move on to another super genius because we're running out of time here. He doesn't believe the things that he's saying. He's like, like you said, 2012. Mitt Romney's too extreme on the border. Now he Mitt is. Romney? Now he's round them up and put them in camps, kind of guy. I mean, uh, where did that happen? <laughs> How did that happen? Because it's there's, fake. Yes, there's no pivot point there. Luscious, full head of hair. <laughs> you got to point them all out now. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, no, good on you, man. Because if we're going to point out the bald ones, <laughs> he also deserves to point out it. the hair ones. I don't want this one. <laughs> uh, I don't want back. Because we're going to do this guy. We do Brian Fisher. We're going to do Pat Robertson. All of our last nerve guys have hair. I'm um, also gonna say I'm also gonna say he's got the plaid too. So the plaid is very similar in style to someone else we all know. That's right. Yeah. He has said many times how much he despises conservatives and the GOP and everything else. What are the odds that he is a spoiler? What are the odds that he got into this because he's friends with the Clintons? Oh, and he'll get massive payback. 50-50. Massive payback. Can you imagine if Hillary like Clinton gets 50, in 50. because he ran third party? Do you know the favor they're going to owe him? So pretty much it's all a big setup for Donald Trump to run by the you know Hillary Clinton and everything. So all this is a big plot. Donald Trump running all the shit he says. It's all a big plot for Hillary Clinton to become the next president. Nice. Yeah, that's that's the idea here. It's uh, it's probably be, probably because uh, Hillary Clinton worships. Oh God damn it! That thing's met here. That thing's so cool, dude. This is, I'm I'm so proud to own this. Look at the. It's got such. Look at the the uh, pentagram on the, on the base. Yeah, you want to be holding that when Jesus comes back, TJ. That's oh, like I... the that's like the reverse Holy Grail, <laughs> the you, unholy Grail. You chose yeah. wisely. The unholy Grail. Yeah, I mean, that, that's it's... one you do not want to be picking from that old knight. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> like... But yeah, thank you, JJ. <laughs> Incredibly logical to mm -hmm. believe because it makes no sense it makes no sense of a republican candidate the it's only thing more logical to believe that then he's all of a sudden changed and he had no pivot point in his life <laughs> to change like this it, yeah it, the it, only it, thing uh, that makes me not believe it is that i i don't see him as a guy who wants to play second fiddle that much like he would give up his big fat name to get favors afterwards depends he, on how big the favors are yeah wow yeah <clears throat> i mean they they really think the government are, and the, the thing about conspiracy theories is they really think shit works really smooth behind the scenes, but I doubt it could ever really run that smooth behind the scenes. 
I really, I really doubt it. Well, and and something like that. It's well, and also Glenn Beck being a conservative. What does that say about your party that it is a ruse and like forty something percent of Republican voters are like favoring Donald Trump? Mm. Like, what would that say or, about or your party they would if that were true? Agrabah. Yeah, like thirty. <laughs> yeah, like thirty percent want to actually bomb like a the, fictional the, fucking country. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. You we got about eight minutes till till midnight here or till one for you guys. Um, we could fit a last nerve in here, huh? Or you want to do two more? Uh, you know what? Let's, let's squeeze in two more. Why not? And then we'll right. call it a night. Yeah. Cause we got, uh, some we got shit to do another. We, yeah, we, it's busy. It's a busy fucking week and we have another show coming up very shortly. Um, check your Patreon messages. If you're a patron, Become a patron quickly if you, because I'll be sending out a reminder uh, soon to remind you when the show is. So if you went in on that, you're going to want to become a patron quickly. And uh, otherwise, we I think we have one more show this month, and then that'll be the last show of the year. And we'll come back mm -hmm. and we'll I bel I don't I'm not sure if the next show is our fiftieth. Well, we might have to do something. I don't know if it's the next show or the one after, but we'll figure it out. And uh, we'll do something fun for that, too. And we're back. Pauls, you bastard. And we're back. I am not. I don't even think I need to say it anymore. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I should have thought about that whenever I was picking things out. Back now with our panel to discuss the climate deal. Carl, what's Good. wrong with this agreement? And is there... Carl Rove can kind of go either way. I think he's got a little bit of... He's got like a skullet going on. <laughs> skullet? <laughs> <laughs> anything in it that's useful well two things uh, i was interested in mostly bald i would consider that bald tj i i yeah i'm gonna go bald and also i miss stephen colbert's ham rove ham rove dude you never saw him do ham rove mm -hmm. it's just like a a ham with glasses on it and it looks just like carl rove it's ridiculous it's not <laughs> car it's not carved or anything it's just a fucking big old hunk of ham and they put fucking glasses on it, and they call it Ham Rove. And it, it <laughs> looks just like fucking Carl Rove. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Comment of Dr. Uh, James Hansen, sort of the high priest of global warming, who said it was BS because it didn't have targets. It calls for no net new emissions to be, that's the target, 2050 to 2080. We'll all be dead, and uh, very few of the people who are sitting in Paris will be alive at that point, I suspect, when, when we hit to 2080. Uh, look, <laughs> so... Why do shit about it? We'll all be dead anyways. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh. This, the United States has reduced its uh, greenhouse gas emissions. It has done so not because of some international treaty, but because for more than a decade, we have put the focus on energy efficiency. We're a market economy. We're a wealthy country that it can afford to, uh, to, uh, to do this, and uh, we have done it. Uh, what we are now doing is saying to the emerging economies, keep your people poor, uh, keep them in poverty, because you cannot use cheap fuels, namely natural gas, coal, and other, uh, uh, other fossil fuels to, f to power your economy. And it's ridiculous. Uh, I think it's, it made everybody there feel good, but I think Dr. Jim Hansen is right. Absent compulsory targets, which nobody in the world would accept, either the emerging uh, uh, economies or a country like the United States, this is the best they can do, and now they're going to try and browbeat us into, into beggaring our economy. Wow. Yeah, so fuck it. I mean, Karl Rove is one of those guys, like, he's about to die, right? He's on his deathbed, and he's like, you know what? I just kind of want to see what all the explosions look like. So he like pushes the bomb. He's like, I'm going to be dead here in a little while anyway. So it doesn't matter. I just want to see the fireworks. He's a skeevy piece of shit. Yeah. I, I don't see a whole lot of distinction between people like Carl Rove and, um, Newt Gingrich. Um, people like, uh, Dick Cheney. They're all in that same, like horrible, nasty, they all kind of look shit. alike too. Yeah, they're, but they're all in that mindset. And yes, yes, dark matter. They're all old white guys. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah. While you're I mean, at it, I might as well point out that we're all like we're all white guys too. No, I don't mean that like that. I mean literally, they look they look kind of similar. 
And I, we, we get what you're going with it, man. Yeah. Yeah, trying to bring race into it again. Check this out. Last nerve. Oh, what an amazing ministry. What an amazing <laughs> lady. That takes sacrifice. <laughs> I love whenever we get to do a pet. Uh. He's, he's, he's almost at Quato stage. That, that, that head's getting further down. He's yeah. going to become his own Quato. Yeah. Like, you know, like the guy like stood there and the Quato came out of his stomach, but his head just recedes. Eventually his head, I think, is going to be like right here. Yeah. <laughs> like tricks those guys do where they drop the head down, but they've yeah. got the braces for their shoulders. <laughs> but, you know, at the heart of the country is this voodoo. Uh, President Aristide declared our... Actually, I kind of want to, I wanted to say somebody said in the chat he is 900. Actually, Pat, Pat Robertson makes me believe those Bible stories. Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. Did. And, and he did keep growing, but it was just the ears. <laughs> Religion is voodoo. And voodoo is a satanic type of culture. I mean, it just destroys them. And then on top of that, the leadership of Haiti, like Papa Doc Duvalier and his son, Baby Doc Duvalier, and some of the others have been hopelessly corrupt. And they've stolen great sums of money from the treasury of the country, and they've left the people impoverished. So uh, it's, it's, it's like pushing a rock up a hill, boy. It, it doesn't want to go, and it slips down every time you turn around. But uh, we're making progress. Operation Blessing is there. Others are down there. But. So um, let me get this straight. These guys, they uh, they belong to some religion that he doesn't believe in, and they are all about taking other people's money. And he ain't having um, it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want any of that going on. That's some serious competition right there. That's that's straight rivalry. Yeah. Ooh. Um, it, it breaks your heart to see these lovely people, and they are lovely, wonderful people in such terrible straits. Oh, God. The people of Haiti, man, he has like a hard on for the people of Haiti. Dude, yeah, he's, he's previously talked about after the earthquake, he said it was because they made a deal with the devil. Yeah. A satanic pact. He's like, I love when he says he's like, you know, a lot of people don't know about this. It's like Pat because it's bullshit. He's like, because they <laughs> they made this deal with the devil to overcome the French that were you the know. Motherfucker were... had the nerve to say true story. He said that true story when when they, they made a, a pact with the, the uh, with Satan and uh, and you know it, it's all one island, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and the Dominican Republic is very nice, and then you go to Haiti. And they got earthquakes and the whatnot. <laughs> Poverty, because they made a deal with the devil. Bad fucking Robertson. That's, Fuck dude, fault that's, line. That's, yeah, <laughs> that, that is the real deal. That is the real deal. He made a deal with the devil. Deal with the devil. Dude, <laughs> someone should do a meme, like making pickles. And it would like, well, have someone like the devil doing it and call it with the devil. To be fair, though, if Haiti has an earthquake, technically, it is their fault. Oh, my God. You just had to end the fucking show, Bard and Merkind. What the fuck? Damn. Yo. It was a geology joke. Yo, Haiti's going to hate. <laughs> okay, what, what what else do I have here that I can throw at DJ? Um, all right. You want your oh, little... No. Uh... <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Get him in there nice and close. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I can help him out. There we go. There Jesus. Go, God, he is into it. All right. Uh, big thanks, everybody. Dark Matter, again, for joining us. We love you to death, man. We really appreciate you keeping uh, keeping on showing up and yep. putting up our bullshit. It's always fun. Um, everybody in the chat, all our viewers, we love you all, especially the patrons, obviously. We love you the most. Again, if you are a patron, uh, check your messages. If you're not a patron, become a patron, and then check your fucking messages, because we'll be getting the heads up on our next patron-only show, which happens very soon. And then, uh, otherwise, we will see you next Tuesday. Happy holidays, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah, all that kind of bullshit. Keep crossing Christmas, you guys. That's right, and happy Festivus, most importantly. Yep. All right, so we're done. Later. Good night.